uh, got kicked from darkness and uh, we got kicked from darkness it wasn't anything against me personally it was against the Alliance uh, we had a lot of upheaval in the Alliance uh, we had an attempted coup we had um, uh, a couple of uh, leaders uh, going at it with each other um, we had you know it's the whole politics power struggle uh, normal you know it happens in countries it happens in real life it happens in uh, alliances corporations and coalitions all throughout Eve and so uh, that kind of that really damaged the alliance uh, damaged it quite a bit I hung out as long as I could and then we got kicked from darkness and I said well I'm gonna move on and so store is down uh, and so I um, <clears throat> store is not down it's up and running okay so store is what funds the show exclamation point coupon in twitch chat and you can get a coupon code and a link to our store and uh, yeah, so if you need any Eve stuff, we've got it. And it supports the show. So, anyway, we, um, yeah, uh, True Light, it may just be for your region. That can happen sometimes. So, um, you know, Control F5 or, um, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, it could be UBK. Uh, user behind keyboard <laughs> that could be the error uh, so anyway let's see here uh, I wanted to continue to you know I've met a lot of people in the Aquarius area we got at the same time this whole this whole coup was happening we got uh, attacked by pandemic horde pandemic Welcome lesion to the dragon and northern coalition and uh, they started taking our space and uh, so the it, it just it just was a mess an absolute mess so I started looking for what I was gonna do and you know uh, moose moose bank streamer one of his things is he loves to uh, he's an empire builder he is uh, one of these people who puts together groups of other people and they go out and do things build things create things whether it's content or whether it's uh, space stations, you know? And he loves doing that. I hated being the CEO of my corp. I hated it. I absolutely hated it. And so, uh, not because I didn't enjoy the people in my corp or anything like that, it wasn't that at all. It was just that I don't like the administration. It's 501 when you click an item. Okay, I will... Um, check on that oh now I have a server error hmm okay yeah so I you know I'm not so much into that stuff and uh, Yeah. Oh, lovely. Okay, so we'll, we'll give the store a few minutes to um, to see what's up. Uh, may uh, maybe they're doing uh, every once in a while. We have an emergency patch that has to go in. Okay, so, um, 
Yeah, well, I'm going to give it a few minutes to see if it'll correct itself. We have a lot of stuff that uh, will correct itself, so. Uh, the boxes behind me, they are second decade editions. Maybe it just came back up. Nope. Okay, so why so many? We're, uh, uh, because uh, we bought all the rest of them. And so we have them available on our store uh, when it's up. So anyway, uh, we'll give it, a, we'll give the store a few more minutes and see what's up. And, uh, so, the, um, I decided that uh, I was going to make some changes. So I joined a bunch of my characters to Moose Army, and then I joined a couple of characters in a Wormhole uh, Corp. And uh, the Wormhole Corp, uh, I hope to get into next week with everybody. I got a lot of setup to do for that. So, um, so today going to work on uh, doing uh, stuff with uh, Moose Army. So, I do need to see what's going on though with the store. Actually, it looks like this is a connection issue because uh, in Chicago it's up, but London and uh, Texas it's down. So, yeah, it. Um, I believe it's actually still up and running. So. Okay, so, yeah, St. Louis is up, California's down. This is, this is some sort of uh, internet routing issue. So, hey. Okay. True light, thank you. Okay. Yeah, there's um there's something uh something with the routing going on. So um website is in the cloud. It is a cloud based site and uh so, okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll give it just a little bit of time. Raptor. Hey, okay. so. 
I am uh, going to head to... Oh, so there's a few things. One is that um, the map has been fixed. It is uh, working properly again. Thank you, CCP. So... Yeah, our, uh, uh, I'm not too worried about this. Our, uh, uh, our order processing is still up as well. So, uh, now it could create some problems with, uh, communication with like PayPal or the credit card stuff. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a few minutes. I'm not going to freak out over it. Let's see here. Okay, so we're going to head over to uh, Moose Army Territory. And yeah, Brain, uh, it may be for you. And then, oh yeah, it, I got it again now. So... Yeah, there was some sort of hiccup in routing. And you know what? They may have been, this may have just been maintenance on our cloud connections from different places in the world. Because we have direct connects from, from all over the place. And uh, so they may have been doing some system-wide update. Uh, I would think that they would have told us of that. But it maybe, maybe our uh, host didn't know. So maybe it's just one of their providers. So anyway. Um... It's a Rackspace issue? Okay, maybe. We do use uh, cloud hosting at Rackspace. So, um, anyway, okay. Oh, nice. Dragons love gold treasure and, of course, dollar bills. Okay, so thank you, everybody, for... Uh, <laughs> that was kind of cool. All of you guys uh, with the outage there from all over the world reporting in. Um... That, that was cool. That was cool. We'll have to keep an eye on it for a little bit. And, uh, oh yeah, order's coming in now. So, yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye on it for a little bit and see what's what. I think that this was not, this is not our server issue. This is a internet routing issue. And I think it's, the scope is much broader than our host. Uh, Jingle Bells, Marky Smells, his Tristan ran away. Okay. <laughs> that is, um, OCD sent some pie. And uh, so, thank you very much, OCD. Uh, you know, he's just trying to screw with everybody. And, uh, you know, when I get donations, I give you all gold. So, that is 3.14 gold for everybody. <laughs> uh, now you all have remainders. You can all have conniption fits now. So... OCD is giving you OCD, yes. I'm sure. Okay. So, and by the way, if uh, now that I'm seeing uh, transactions happening at the store again, uh, exclamation point coupon in Twitch chat or in the details in YouTube, and uh, there is a coupon code that will save you a few percent, and it supports the show. So, if you like the show and you're needing Plex, Orem, new accounts, any of those things anyway, then, um, you know, it works. You get something, we get something, it's all cool. And we are the only place where you can get second decade copies digitally. You can get the codes, you can get the, uh, um, you can get uh, any, uh, um, anything that CCP sells. Actually, we have even more than what CCP sells. So we have we have a bigger inventory than anybody else in the world of Eve stuff. So Okay. Yep. Now the shop's going to think it's under attack. All everybody pinging it. <laughs> okay. So, let's continue on here. And uh so I'm going to head over to Moose territory. Let me, uh, it's quite a ways, and I figured what I would do is I'd do any of the sites along the way. And, 
And then once I get there, I'm going to figure out some logistics on uh, getting some battleships there and such. When we did an emergency evac from Aquarius, I, um, uh, I didn't, um, I didn't have time or the ability to move all my stuff in uh, carriers. And so I moved everything in, uh, I had to break, bust out all the, the rigs, which I uh, wasn't real happy about. Uh, it was well over a billion worth of rigs, but, um, you know. Um, so, okay, here we go. There's no sights in here. Drive. I've also got other people in here, which, you know, in Null, it's a dangerous thing. In fact, let's see here. Welcome to the Dragons. An update. Yeah, I don't know how many Welcome people donate the under the Dragons. OCD name. I actually don't know who it is that does that, because we don't have anybody on the show named OCD. Read the bulletins. Um, oh, yeah, is that... Oh, nice. Dragons love gold, treasure, and of course, dollar bills. Carrot Fudger says $2.13. EVE Online ABC link. I don't know what an ABC link is, but, you know... Cool. Okay. So, let's see here. That'll be 2.13 gold to everybody. <laughs> oh, you're all screwed. And, uh, Mysticion, Raxus, Outsider, and Sam Sam, thank you for following. Welcome. Okay. Uh, well, you can put something in chat. Then the mods can look to see whether it's good to be put out to everybody. Oh. Three main asteroids? Yeah. Okay. There's nothing here. The ABCs of EVE Online. Okay, on Reddit. By the way, patch notes here. A is for Amar. Oh my goodness. Yes, well. So did you guys see the patch notes? They fixed a bunch of these problems that we're having, and I am very happy they fixed them. So. Warp drive. Oh, brain manager, sorry. I'll let you do your job. Okay. Things look like they're running all normal. You know, the, the type of outage that we had there, that, that really reminds me of, uh, of, a, of a rolling reboot. So, um, they were resetting systems, multiple systems. So, I'll bet you that's what it was. Okay. Locatana. So, uh, yeah, I'm heading. I've got 34 jumps. I figured I would do some of the the frosty sites along the way if there were any. I'm not seeing any at the moment, um, but. Uh, 
I am uh, I am watching and it looks like I have to reset some of my uh, overview stuff Let's see here Quasar, good morning. Something decloaked me as I was approaching. It's probably a bubble there. sights out here yet. Okay, so, oh, and they fixed the, okay, so you have to fix your uh, D-scan again. So in the D-scan, uh, what was happening is you were hitting the buttons, typing up here, and it was changing your filter. And so you got to select PVP again if that's what you normally run. There's hotkeys to change those now, and when they enabled those hotkeys, it uh, messed it up. Every time you type something in, the last number you typed is what it was on. Welcome so, to the Dragons. I kept messing up D-Scan. It kept messing it up quite a bit. Um, now, I still have a complaint here that when I type in 1 AU, okay, fine, it's 1 AU, I'm scanning that. I want to go to 1.1, 1, .1, 1 mouse wheel tick up goes to 1.001 now and how I have to hit the mouse like 10 times to get to 1.1 it's not right that still needs to be fixed as well um, because we cannot manage our distance with our mouse wheel anymore we have to type it in so uber charged Christmas tree thank you for following welcome Or type 1.1, yes, but Camel Boy, you know, so I want to go to 1 AU and then I want to look at 5 AU and then I want to look at, you know, I, I, you know, I constantly change that uh, based upon how far I actually want to go out because I only want to go as far as I need to. I don't want to accidentally get stations in there. I don't want to get other stuff. And so I used to be able to do that with the mouse wheel and I can't anymore. And, and I would like that to be fixed because I, I think that that is... I think it's an error associated with changing the uh, size of the um, grid. So I think that I think that that's um, that that is a side effect or a bug caused by the grid changes. Warp drive If I try to uncheck, okay, so, well, let's let's go look at that. So, I'm checking, uh, try the new probe and directional scanners in general settings.
Okay, so that works. But, can I... Can't hit my hotkey with it. Because that's a really nice feature. The hotkey, so I don't have to keep going over and... Uh, doing it. Hmm. Okay. Right. So, which one... Which one makes it better? Can I increase the size of my camera view? What, like... This? Is that, is that what you're looking for? Don't know if that's what you're looking for. All right, let's see here. So here's the old scanner. and Oh, and this uh, automatically fires every time you go through a gate or you undock, too, which is very nice. And hotkey works on it now. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this because the hotkey is much more valuable to me than, uh, than the camera that shows me. I'm not sure I understand that, because my, I mean, uh, my ship is me. Oh, you mean this camera right here? Like this? Is that big enough? I have, uh... That's the size that uh, I have tagged as, as really being the best overall size for me. So it is the same size as it has been for a while. I didn't, I didn't change it. The exposure is a bit off. It's too small. Well, you know, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I actually don't want it to be much bigger. So. Feeling intimidated by the beard now. <laughs> okay. So. I've got Warp drive active. Didn't do a very good job of catching me. Zoom in on it. Yeah, it's because of the, it's because, it's because of my halo. If I turned that light off. Yeah. Oh, it still works over here. But here it doesn't. Yeah, it's just, it's just auto, auto changing, auto focusing. Okay, well, there is a site in here, but I'm not going to do it. I've got uh, someone in here who would like to like to kill me, I'm sure. It's just in their nature. Good morning, Defcon. I thought you was a mod.
Hmm. It's amazing. I have this whole route through Stain and I don't end up at any one of the stations where I have stuff. Oh, in fact, I should stop and um, I should see what deals there are out here. Okay. Oh yeah, I can still get to uh I can still get to stain without uh accessing uh stopping any place in Aquarius. So yeah. There are other routes. So Okay, let me uh I want to look and see here. Oh, there's 13 contracts signed to the... Okay, so that's for my corp. Selling something for two million. Oh my. What is it? Is it a carrier? No. Okay, well, let's take a look at what this is. It says 1.29 billion. They are wrong. It's 1.17 at most, 1.04. If this was 1.29 right here on the buy price, then I would have bought it, but it's not. Or at least I would have considered it. Interceptor for 40 million, probably not. Fitted ships are hard to take advantage of. Here's a bunch of stuff. Looks like a bunch of loot. Looks like a garage sale. I'm using the site Eve Prazel. There is a link below the video. And let's see, worth 22 million on the buy price. Nope, they want 20 million. Forget it. Just not enough. Um, there's a widow for a billion. Okay. So what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, that's no good. What I'm looking for is uh, is stuff that's um, of good value, worth buying, and then taking to market. This is one of the ways I make money. So, Cerberus, I don't want that. Carrier. There's a fully fitted carrier. Probably not worth 2.3 billion. So if I could make like 500 million off a carrier, then I would. But I have to make a lot to deal with the carrier. So 1.9 billion is the estimated buy price. Yeah, see, they're trying to get full value. 1.66 billion, it's another carrier. 1.9 billion, ooh, Typhoon fleet issue. It's a nice little ship. I don't know that it's worth this, though. No, it's not. Nice looking ship, though. Moros for 3.7 billion. 47.8 million is what he says on this. It's small. There's something to be said about that. This stuff is really small in size, which makes it easy to transport. 
So 47 million, 49 million in uh, in retail. He wants 40 million. It's at LGK. How far away? It's 27 jumps away. I'm looking to see if I have other stuff there already. I have a ton of stuff there. Let's see, it's 7 million. How much is in profit? It's 19. I, I feel like it's not quite enough profit. Even though I've already got stuff at that station, I mean, okay, so it's an easy 9 million, 7 million, takes 20, I'll go ahead and buy it. Okay, so bought that one. And I'll just take it to market whenever I go to market next. So... Four point three billion. What is this? It's a bling moros. Seventy four million. A naga. Gotta have enough of those. People dump those off. Abaddon. Nah, forget it. Eight hundred million. Tengu for eight hundred million. Uh it's a really nice fit. I was thinking about buying another Tengu. I'll look. 877,929. You know, and the fit is very much like what I fly. Except what he's done is he's got he's got all this bling here. He wants 800, what does that say it's worth? 877. But see, I can build the same thing for 600 million without going uh, Welcome this to far. The dragons. And where is it at? Let me see where it's at. GDO. Sixteen jumps. You see, I can reconfigure it and fly it nullified. I don't have anything in that area. I'm gonna leave that one alone. It's kind of a good deal, but it's not like, oh my god, I gotta buy this right now. Another carrier. Typhoon with rigs. Uh, yeah, I don't need those blueprints. 4.5 million, oh my. Okay, another fitted ship. A lot of carrier, oh, Roracle, interesting. Seven hundred million. They list these appraisal. They trying to get me to bite. Is that a keyword? This disparity of nine hundred and nine hundred and thirty-five million against six hundred and twenty-nine on the buy price means that something in here does not move very fast at all. I don't know what it is, but um, I'll stay away from it. It's not its not enough profit to deal with it. This one's 70 million. Two thousand cubic meters. Oh, wait. 
There's blueprints in here. There's also stuff in here that's been redone. These blueprints, I actually don't think... Unless there are a really high number of runs, not a huge value. Two runs, two runs, two runs. Yeah, forget it. Okay, right, let's see. We're back to... Yeah, we're back to several days ago. I think I've looked back this far. So this is what I do. You know, I go through and I look at this stuff and then... That's not a good deal for me. Okay. So, continuing on. Frog Puffer, hello. And Jason, thank you for following. Welcome. So I'm looking for the the frosty sites. Just seeing. Um, seeing what's on the way as I head up to Moose Army Space. So I ended up only buying something for 40 million that's worth 47. Wormholes are full with them. Yeah. Well, I, um, uh, I'll be in uh, Wormhole next week. So I joined a Wormhole Corp. Uh, one character, I got to get my second character in. And uh, I got to finish disbanding my Corp. The C current CEO is uh, also going to be joining with them. I've got two Stratios characters, one of them being Marky Dragon. And uh, so... Nothing here. I think people have been uh, doing these sites. So, uh, my... Oh, I'm in Ham's territory. What is my route here? Well, I guess I'm going through this way. I thought I was going through the other way. But I guess I'm going up through here. All right. Um, so I'm uh, part of Inglorious Alliance now. Probable sites will go down rapidly over the next few days. Yeah, it's, uh, um, I do know this, but I do have some skins that I'm looking for. So if I can find those skins, it'll put a smile on my face. I 
I kind of thought I was going the other way in stain. I didn't realize that I was going to come up through this way, but it's okay. Check out my standings as I go through. I actually don't know where all I have standings at, positive standings. But that's one of the things I'll do is at uh, areas where I have positive standings, I'll work the markets. Uh, I probably won't leave as much stuff build up as I did in Quirius. Um, in areas that can we can lose SOV. And uh, it took me 15 hours to move all my stuff out of Quirius. I mean, 15 real hours of jump freighting and breaking out rigs and, and all of that stuff, so. Warp drive active. Well, oh, Favor, you bought that with Orem, that skin? I didn't know that. Man, dude. Well, thank you again for that skin. Uh, Favor gave me a Tristan skin yesterday. So. Morning, John and Daniel. Okay, still not seeing any of these sites, and I'm starting to run into areas with a lot more people. That's one of the beautiful things about Stain is there's some really empty areas out there. Um, so, and it's all NPC. Uh, it's NPC null. So, which is nice. I'm going to end up up there and have not really run any of these sites, which kind of sucks. I really wanted to run some of these sites today. There is an Operation Frostline target here. graphics am I running? I mean, I have everything 100%, but this NVIDIA uh, GTX 980, I have a second 980, but uh, it needs, needs to be repaired. It caught on fire. 
So I'm running a 770 in here as well. Um, there's a Vexor Navy issue in here. Um, but I got to get to the power supply company. They, I turned it in for RMA to be fixed and they failed to return it to me. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been a while now and I, I contacted them last week asking where it was and they never answered me. So yeah, the video card caught fire. Okay, well, I'll leave this guy alone. And delve. Uh, this is a travel fit on my Tengu here, and so I can defend myself really well, but as far as uh, DPS and stuff, I don't have any tackle either, so I can't, I, he could run away. So it's not worth the risk. Dominic's again. Damn, I'm like right next to him. He's just sitting here. Let's get a little intel on him. I mean, I'm literally right next to him. He's hams. Welcome to the dragons. He's an old character, too. Got back into Eve Didlix. Welcome back. Yeah, I don't know what uh, he had, what not, but beings I'm in a travel fit. Might have been able to take him on, but yeah, I, I I wouldn't have I would not have been able to kill him. And and I just say that because I don't have enough DPS on this fit. I've got uh, my fit is or let's see, yeah, it's 151 DPS. It's not very much, so. I'd probably be able to tank any damage he threw at me. But then if he grabbed me and brought friends, that would be a problem.
Okay, so there is a frost line in here. It's also another person, which I haven't done any intelligence on them yet. I will now. Two and a half years old. Care Bear. station here? There is no station here. His last kill was 269 days ago. And he's gone. Okay. Well then. Lord Roa is here, okay. Well, let's see if he's coming over here to this site. This is the guy uh, in the Dominics. Far, I don't see him on scan. like he's coming down here. I don't know what he's doing. Is he just sitting on the gate, maybe descanning from the gate? How far away is that gate? He could descan me. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Doing the frost sites, uh, hoping to get uh, some skins. That's what I would like to get. Since I have a cloak, uh, I can't, uh, I have to get closer to target these guys. Uh, just having a cloak installed reduces your targeting range. Tackle would be pointless. Oh, what a pun. And I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> I have my propulsion on. I warped in at 100 just in case. I didn't want to land in the middle of a fray if there was uh, a guy who was in here. Uh, I did get a skin off of one of these sites. The very first one I did, I got a skin off of it. So I did. Uh, I did get a skin already. So um, but it was a temporary skin, and I know that there's permanent ones out there. trying to shoot. Just click the wrong button. 
range for my yeah you're right the range for my stabs which I've got to remove those out uh, in fact I should look on the market and see if I can get my other fit because um, inertia stabilizer and nano is what I uh, wanted to replace that with so and that's what I've done in my other fits so I'm just quicker to take off uh, you know it can be caught just a little bit easier except that I move a little bit quicker so yeah elite camper you're right I had those mixed up yep cloak just reduces my targeting speed you are correct I just got it mixed up In a Tengu, these sites are pretty easy. What was it I tried to do one in yesterday? I tried to do one in a destroyer yesterday. Didn't work out so well. God, I didn't see this guy. I would have targeted him earlier. Yeah, these new shield effects are pretty cool. New shield effects remind me of uh, stuff you see in Star Trek movies, which is cool. Tactical destroyers work very well. Yeah. I don't think so. I, what was I flying yesterday? Oh, uh... Catalyst. I certainly had the DPS, but, uh... Then they, they just tore through me pretty quick. It spooked me and I ran.
foggy burger I don't know I think that would take a little trial and error because because someone who's pre-scanned everything and has everything set up that's just sitting and waiting you know you'll encounter that in some areas and other areas you won't encounter that at all and so you know it's just hard to say but the safest way to do it is to do them with nobody else in the system like I'm all alone in this system and uh, if you have multiple accounts then uh, you know set up uh, some scouts to keep an eye on things have them up and watching the gates so that when you see someone's name appear in system you look at your you look at the gates and you see what kind of ship is coming through whether or not you have to worry about it also pirates little helper will give you very good intel on whether or not you have to worry about a person so and if they if you see that their last kill was you know 30 minutes ago uh, in a stratios then you can be pretty sure that they've already scanned it all down and and know where everything is or that they are going to scan it down and come and get you <laughs> and take the site I don't know Carl Carbon good morning so in this right here I have a gate here now too and so uh, they can't warp directly to me uh, so I can do a very close range um, uh, a, a very close range, you know, uh, scan, and uh, and I'll know whether or not they're sitting on the gate. So, yeah. Well, you can. I mean, it's it's you can lose ships. That's for sure. It's one of those things that uh, you know. It's a little bit hard to explain because. There's no so many different variations of things. There's so many different things to kind of keep track of and so many different tools. You know, but if I had a place to recommend to start, get Pirate's Little Helper. Most definitely. It will tell you information. Like, when I came into this system, so here's my guy here, and then, and then uh, here was the other guy that was in here. And this tells me that, you know, really, this guy hasn't killed anybody in 269 days. So what's the chances he's going to come after me? Pretty low. Pretty low. And uh, other information about him. Sometimes they'll just tell you how old they are and everything. And you know, when they're just a couple months old, the only thing you have to worry about them being is a Sino. Uh, knocking him down with a Comet. Yeah, I could see that, I guess. That's cool. So my Tengu here in a travel fit is working nicely. Uh, I probably could, you know, alter things just a little bit to get a little bit more DPS. But um, in my travel fit here and allows me to move through Null with without too much trouble. Yeah, I could see running in with drones. So next week, we're going to get into some wormhole stuff. Uh, I am moving into a wormhole over the weekend. And uh, so... Sure, I can link the travel fit. Hop into live shows, L-I-V-E-S-H-O-W-S. -E uh, hop into that channel and uh, say hello, and I'll post the fit in there. Uh, this is an old version of my fit, and it. Um, hello, Futuristics. Thanks for uh, 
subbing on YouTube. I appreciate it. On Grape Horn and Fireblades, thank you for following on Twitch. Um, okay, so this is a this is a little bit older fit of mine, and uh, it uh, has the the thing that I've changed in it is I only keep one warp stab, and then I put in one nanofiber and one. Um, um, Gosh, what is it called? The other thing uh, that helps with alignment speed. So, um, so I'll post the fit again there in case you just joined there. Um, one inertia stabilizer, and so I run with those now, and uh, I. Um, Seems to work a little bit better. So, but with three warp stabs, if you only got one person on you, you're almost uh, guaranteed to get away. So, um, I have been caught in this fit before, but the um, but but having been caught in this fit before, in fact, I've died three times in this fit. But I had uh, a fleet after me, you know, and uh, they they brought out some really specialized stuff. They're watching the stream. They brought out some really specialized stuff, waiting for me to hit a gate. And they had a couple of uh, insta uh, insta stab, uh, and then um, they they were able to throw everything at me, and and they caught me. They were able to overwhelm. Um, what I had, and that and that's just part of how it works. So, uh, especially being a streamer. Welcome to the dragons. Most uh, most people who are not streaming, you could even put three cargo expanders in there, and you'd still be fine, unless they knew you were coming. And so, welcome. I've to got. The dragons. I've got. Uh, what have I got? I've got uh, 440 in cargo space here, and if I put in three cargo expanders. Uh, the uh, I'll end up with uh, 900, I think, uh, cubic meters, which is a lot of space to be able to transfer f through null. So, hello, Lion Gaming, welcome. Uh, Futuristic, your name did not pop up because uh, the the bot that does that does not work with um, not work with YouTube, and I'm broadcasting to both YouTube and Twitch right now. R. Harris and Dr. Hatta, thank you for following. Welcome. So we are working on a bot. Uh, I've got a bit more work to do on that. I've been so slammed with the second decade stuff. All these boxes behind me. Um, oops, that's not the right camera view. Here's the camera view. All these boxes behind me, and then I've got them all on the wall back here. I've got them all over here and everything. There you can see my triple monitor set up. I'm running on three screens. And, uh, yeah, so I have more work to do on that. I've dropped the ball on that. But I've been working up, working from the time I wake up until just about bedtime every day for the past few weeks. Three weeks. Maybe more. I've been keeping the stream going. I did cancel the stream a couple of times, but uh, I've been keeping the stream going. It's important to... Welcome, Elder streaming. Dragon. So, you think you're worthy of being a Marquee Dragon subscriber? Duke isn't so sure of that. Get in line with the other dragons and show me what you're made of. What are you waiting for? Get over there before I open a can of whoop ass. All right, uh, Ichthid, thank you so much for resubbing, buddy. I appreciate it. In honor of you resubbing, 10 gold to everybody. Everybody give it up to Ichthid. Help him support the show. I appreciate it. When we hit 200 viewers, we will do a drawing for a brand new account for Eve. 
and um, the face is gone. The face did the face show up? I don't know. But can I make a living out of the store? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. More than just myself. It's not just me doing the store. Hey, I don't remember if this is the last one or if I have one more wave. No, last one. Yes, the new effects are very nice. I'm coming to get your cargo can. Ramming speed. Yep, here's the loot. We'll see what we get. So, here's what I currently have with me. We're 307,000, oh my. Okay, let's get that can. And, nope, just the normal, nothing extra. And the Coiffe Zero, uh, I'll end up holding on to those. And uh, so. Guess what? Another one appeared. I'm going to do all of them on the way out there. So. So we sell a lot more than just Eve. And uh, so we're business partners with Eve. Have been for 12 years now. Something like that. Um, been doing these kind of sales since 1997. Started with Ultima Online. And, um, you know, and we, we have several games on, uh, on our store. We're very picky about what games that we support. And uh, so we, we've got some criteria on that. Um, you know, we've got to believe in the game. And, and then there's, there's other, uh, other criteria with that as well. But... Um, yeah, so uh, Eve is definitely one of our more important games, and uh, we're adding Crowfall. So you're going to see a lot more stuff from us for Crowfall, and uh, they they will be ma doing a press release announcing it at uh, some point whenever they're ready. So as far as the top selling game. Uh, I don't really go into details like that. So, but I will say we have a huge investment in very long term with Eve. And so Eve does well for us. So especially since, you know, we've been over 10 years supporting Eve. Yeah, Crowfall, I was having a good time. Oh, and we are, I did get them in communication with What the Fast. So they are talking, and we'll see if we can get what the fast hooked up for uh, Crowfall, for the especially for the testing. And uh, so I'm really, really looking forward to that uh, because my ping has been really harsh. Uh, you know, even on the European servers, which is about the best ones that are not in the U.S. that I have pinged to. So. Uh, Favor, we stopped selling Path of Exile. We're still a business partner with Path of Exile, but we um, the we weren't able to get enough traction on it. So um, we were working with the number one streamer for Path of Exile, but um, Path of Exile's community is very interesting. They are very, very dedicated to the game. They really believe in the game, and they believe in the company making the game. 
And so when we offered to be a reseller, it was kind of a no-brainer. I mean, we did that and everything. But then um, what we saw happen was is that a lot of people didn't want to, to buy through a reseller. They wanted to buy through uh, directly because they wanted 100% of the profit to go directly to the game company because they love the game so much. And if that ain't the shit for the game company, I mean, those are some dedicated fans. And... Um, and so, and we get that. So it didn't, it didn't necessarily make, make sense for us to continue that. If we have a lot of demand for it, um, then sure, we can, uh, we can get the stock back in and everything. But um, we weren't able to, to really um, uh, make uh, enough profit with it in that scenario. Because uh, every game, even if you if you have it there and it's not selling, it still costs you to have it there. It may seem kind of crazy because it's just a web page and the virtual items. That money is still tied up. That money is not making money in other areas. It costs you to keep it there. So, yeah. And uh, we, our company is uh, typically runs debt free. And um, so we're not uh, we're not interested in you know things that um, we try and be very smart with the money in the company. So it's okay to ask business questions. I'll just tell you what I'm not willing to answer. So um, that that's how I that's how I treat it. So you can ask anything you want, and I'll just tell you if. Uh, I'm not really willing to answer it. I need a drink. I'm gonna grab one while sh while fighting. There's nobody in system. I'll be right back. Uh-oh, wife wanted to chat. <laughs> I'm like, I really should get back. Um, how does it work being a re reseller? Uh, basically, just like any uh, normal store. Grocery store, buys Dr. Pepper in bulk, gets a good price on it, and then, um, and then they resell it at a profit. Same principle. Is that in the background? Those are second decade boxes. Got just a few of them. Like, a lot of them here. So yeah, those are all second decade boxes. Um, you can buy second decade codes from us digitally now, exclamation point coupon. And uh, you can get a few percent off. So...
Yeah, so we have, uh, we bought all those. We are shipping them as well. And uh, within the continental US. comes with that well you can look on our store but um, um, the uh, you know there's an item code that has a golden pod there's a mystery code that has a plex uh, there's all the mystery items there's all the other items in the item code there's a new account that has 60 days prepaid there's a dust um, a dust code if you're playing dust it uh, Gets you um, some gear and dust, uh, and then also one of the codes gives you something in Valkyrie when it comes out. Um, I have not found a Plex doing these events. I, is that is that actually written by CCP someplace that 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 uh, some of them will have Plex? Because Welcome to the Dragons. Um, I haven't. Uh, I, I don't remember reading that. I, I remember somebody saying it in chat, but um, but I don't remember reading that. And I read all the stuff. Um, and uh, there is some. There is some uh, skins, and that's what I'm after. So I have, uh, um, I did get a Catalyst skin, but it was only a 30 day. I'd like the permanent one. Uh, and uh, so I'm interested, uh, that's why I'm doing it, for the skins. The, the Coiffe Zero, after the event, uh, these will probably plummet in price down to around 5 million each. Uh, and then the price will start going back up again. Uh, the price on those was 15 to 20 million, depending. And uh, so I'll hold on to those and, you know, I'll probably end up doing 50 of these sites or so over the, um, over the, you know, the period of time that this event's going on. And um, so if I end up with 50 Qualify Zeros, um, then I'll sell them in a year and, you know, I'll make good money off of it. I'm willing to hold on to them, though, until they're worth more. Uh, yes, this is a Tengu. Uh, since I'm out in Null and I'm traveling area to area, it's uh, travel fit, and which means I can fly through. It means I can cloak, and I can fly through bubbles. And uh, so I didn't. Um, um, the Plex one is true. Okay. Uh, and yeah, there's also some other uh, BPCs. Yeah, I've had to go out into Null to find the sites. So uh, I've got enough DPS to do these with this. Uh, my tank is not suffering at all. I mean, really, I've, my shields are down to 94%. I could just sit here and take it all day and not worry about it. Oops, wrong one. So um, there's a the uh, module that does that is uh, Tengu Propulsion Interdiction Nullifier. 
These are the two that I swap out, and, co and Covert Reconfiguration allows me to, uh, to um, cloak. Got somebody in system. He's in a capsule. Lord Roa's in a capsule. Well, too bad for him. He was in a Dominix. See if I can get info on him. So he's just passing through. Poor guy. He's an old player though. So Oh, he's not much of a he's a care bear. I didn't realize that before. Yeah, I ended up seeing him on the Uh, the second decade golden pod does actually contain golden pod code. I mean, it's a golden pod. It's called a Genolution Aoral 79 or something like that. And it is golden. I'm not using the Corp Tengu fit. This is just a travel fit. I don't know what the Corp Tengu fit is, but um, um, I I love my Tengu, uh, and uh, the the fit that I've got here, uh, Thor gave it to me, and it's just such a beautiful fit. It works really really well. I'm really pleased with it. Yeah, that is the golden, the golden pod, the AU-79 implant, and that implant does not go away whenever you die. There's heavy missiles, it's heavy missile fit, and I don't have really high DPS on this fit. And it's because it's my travel fit. But it was enough to do these sites, and so I'm doing them as I'm going through. Because I want those skins. Vargas skins going for around three billion in Jita. I want one of those, but um, it'd be prudent to wait. Um, it uh, be prudent to wait. Probably three and a half. Think that's a bargain? Hmm. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I want one. But. Okay, I've 
we've got somebody in system now. He is a PvP -er. Uh, yeah, if there was some, if there was one for three billion in Jita, it's it's sold already. I just looked in Jita, uh, and uh, there's only one on the market, and it's twelve billion. Yeah, maybe three billion was a good price, huh? done solo operations in Null not being an alliance? Yes, all the time. I've done plenty of that in Stain. Stain is NPC Null. There's no Sov. I have a home in Stain. Favor, you probably drank it and forgot. <laughs> we did not steal your tea. Hey, Complication, I see that you're in the corp. Moose Army. Yes. That's cool. Three billion is the buy price. People are willing to pay three billion for people who want to do an instant sell. did just go yes complication is with us okay I think this is the last one and then we got the money ship Black Frog does uh, deliver anywhere in Stain. It'll cost you. Cost you about half a billion for them to deliver out there. But they can. Uh, if anybody's living in Stain, you know, I make trips down into Stain to haul stuff out. And so I could probably, uh, you know, bring some stuff down in at a uh, reasonable, reasonable price. Okay, there he is. I'll go get him. Ramming speed. You can't hurt me.
Okay. Let's see what kind of loot there is. Ah! Nothing very interesting. I'm gonna have plenty of clothing. I'll never have to wash shirts again. <laughs> I can just put on a new one every time one gets dirty. Oh. Okay. No more sights in here. We'll continue on. Oh, yes, I will start with the men's clothes before I start putting on the women's. Mm hmm. Most definitely. My camera's fuzzy. Is that because, like, my beard is fuzzy? Uh, no, I did, uh, okay, so I did, the very first one I did, I got a, I got a skin. It's just a 30-day skin, but I did get a skin. And, uh, so, that was cool. Drive. Found another one. This is a great deep safe. I am 44 AU away from the nearest thing. This is how you make deep safes. You find these sites that show up and they're really far away from everything. Yeah. So. You do get, um, I don't know, you get about 1.2 million um, I don't know, one point is about 1.2 million in uh, bounty. Probably get some sort of alignment from these two. And my security status is five. That's just sick, isn't it? I gotta kill more people. Uh, and then, let's see here, standings, so, and Serpentis, yeah, Serpentis is not too happy with me, they're not too happy with everybody right now, look at all that. Yep, they're not happy.
so they have to get a little bit closer. How's the learning curve of this game? Very steep. Yeah, this is the most complex MMO you'll ever play. Um, but that's what also makes it so good. So if you can get through, you know, like the first month, then you're, you're probably gonna do okay. There's a lot of people who wash out though. So it's hard, but it's very rewarding, very rewarding. Uh, and the key is really join a good corp in game that's uh, newbie friendly and then that way when you get stuck on questions and stuff you can get them answered. So. Well, you know, a spreadsheet simulator, I mean, there's a lot of stuff about this in uh, in how we um, there's a lot of really complex stuff in here and so uh, yeah some of the stuff we put on a spreadsheet just like there's been spreadsheets for a while for different armor pieces and you know different stuff and, and everything it's just that there's a lot of stuff stuff in here that's very complex and it's not all documented in the game. So you have to figure these things out. So people build these, um, you know, people, um, people build these things and, um, at uh, company. So this is, um, I mean, there's a lot of action in the game, and there's a lot of non-action things in the game, too. There are people who play this game who have never fought another player. And there are people who play this game that would not conceive of doing anything other than fighting other players. Um, both coexist in here. There's manufacturing, there's, there's uh, resource collection, there's uh, invention, there is warfare, politics, power. It is the most complex game you'll ever come across. So. And there's a lot of risk. Uh, death is pretty harsh in here. This ship right here, if I lose it, it's worth about 600 million uh, isk in the game, which is uh, not a small amount. Plus, I'll actually lose some of my skills if I uh, get killed. So...
You lose skills when you get killed in a Tech 3 cruiser. It's the only ships that you lose skill in. That you lose skill. And this is one of them. And it's because they're so powerful. This guy who came into system will be a problem. Welcome to the dragons. I mean, not unless he's a Sino. Let's see. No, maybe. No, actually, I think he's a. Uh, he's an industrial character. Been killed 22 times, never killed anyone. Smoke and John, Smoker and John, thank you for uh, following. Welcome. Keep on my D scan anyway, but I think he's just passing through. So you lose about every time you die in one of these, if you're maxed out on all the skills, you lose about four or five days of of skill training that you have to do to get it back. Buy a Titan, no. Uh, this character, I can fly a Titan, I can fly an Avatar, uh, but I actually don't envision ever doing that, so. I was just passing through. A model has run out of charges. Like half a classic turkey sandwich for six. Damn. Didn't mean to click on that. Good old multitasking. So we'll see. Hopefully we get something off this one. It would be nice. We'll see. I mean, in all reality, these will be worth 15 million again in the future. It says 15 million right now. I don't, I don't know if that's really worth that much right now, but it'll be worth 15 million again each in the future. And so um, that'll be easy money. Uh, these uh, These shirts, I don't know. Maybe in five years they'll be worth something. Yeah, I think it's probably a really long life cycle on those. Turkey sandwich sounds good. Yeah, Nemesis, uh, Nemesis saying he has 73 million skill points, no capital skills. Um, yeah, I, uh, I stay sub cap. 
Uh, this guy, like I said, he has a Mar Titan V. Um, probably if they do the, the stuff that they've talked about with being able to un, unload skills and sell them, I will probably sell that. Because I, I just don't need it. I don't use it. And uh, I take the money or I'll buy other skills in another area. Welcome to the dragons. Yeah, I'm not sure that the shirts will ever be worth anything either. That's why I said like five years. The Jolly Codger. Thank you for following. Welcome. The big capital ships also require they don't dock, at least not right now. So you have to have a have, to have a character that can sit in it, a sitter. So okay, last round of these. Self-made prison, yeah. These don't, uh, I guess one interesting thing about these is there is no looting of these. There's no wreck. The wrecks are gone. And so, yeah, they changed ISIS to ship tree, which I think was long overdue. Um, you know, because it was like naming the ship tree Nazi or something like that. Because that's really what those guys are, they're just, anyway. I won't get into the politics of that, but I think I think it was uh, a good move to change the name. it has nothing to do with it well whatever um it brought isis into people's minds every time you know they somebody was discussing it or if you referred to isis and you were you know let's just say broadcasting on twitch and the nsa is listening that every time you say isis the guys are listening in and they're going is this guy a terrorist they don't need it
say subs through the NSA. <laughs> A legion would do fine in these sites, yeah, Nemesis. And you can, uh, you know, nullify it so that you can fly around null and do them. Yeah, I'm uh, doing these just fine in a Tengu, so any uh, T3 cruiser do it just fine. Okay, this last one, and then we got the money ship. Yeah, I um, I was thinking about that. That I may uh, I may change it up a little bit, given uh, you know, if I'm going to go out and do more of these. Um, so I can, uh, you know, I can remove the cloakiness, and uh, then just still stay nullified uh, with uh, you know being able to fly through the bubbles, and that would probably be okay. Man, he's coming straight at me. Or if I'm in, you know, just doing it in system where I have a station or whatever. Look at that damage to him. Look at that. If I'm uh, just doing it uh, in station. You know, system where I have stations or pauses or whatnot, then uh, it could be a different story. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Ah, humbug. Must have gotten really lucky on the first one. Okay, continuing on to the next system. Warp drive active. Ship explosions were redone a year or two ago. I believe. What kind of uh, fit on a Legion? I don't know. I don't, I've never flown a Legion before. So. Well, let's see. There is one of the sites in here. So far. Warp 
One of these guys is a Care Bear. The other one is definitely not. So we got one that's one and a, two years old. He has 2100 deals. Let's come in too. We'll go look. Welcome to the Dragons. Permies, thank you for following. Welcome. Is there a station in here? There is. Well, this is a free port. Yeah, this is actually some place I can dock up. This is this is NPC. We are in NPC area again. Okay, I'm gonna step away for just a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some lunch real quick. So, um, so I'll be uh, back in three minutes.
Okay, I'm back. I think just looking at uh, at this and these guys are all over the place, a bunch of different people. I'm not sure that I want to do this site with this many uh, unknowns in here. Top donator today donated pie. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'll probably move on. Don't mind me while I eat. I have a little bit of leftovers from last night. Some fried rice. Lamorta. Hey. We're going to continue on. I don't like how many people are in system. Too much chance of me getting surprised. Did you make a good safe, though? Of that, it's uh, quite a ways away from anything else. I haven't moved in yet, so uh, working on getting all the stuff set up this weekend, and next week we'll do some shows from the wormhole. So, wow, there's a whole bunch of drones that need to be saved. Can't do it. Too risky around here. What's the Twitch add-on called? I don't know. Warp drive active. Guess I don't know which Twitch add-on you're talking about. There's a bunch. Yeah, there's better Twitch. There's giveaway one. There's uh, the alerts one, which is linked underneath the video. Here. Warp drive This. Somebody called Risk.
Wow. I like the wormhole there. That's pretty cool. Look at all them sights. Welcome to the Dragons. Hey, Brian. By the way, if you didn't notice, I joined up with Moose Army. And I also joined another corp that's uh, Wormhole Corp. Targeting is not close enough. Good army? Yes, Brian. And bon appetit. Yeah, thank you. Oh, it's his car, Paul. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I joined the corp, and uh, I'm tired of administrative stuff of being a corp leader. I'll let somebody like Moose do it who likes to do it. Uh, Mordo, are you wondering if uh, the hogs are are uh, welcomed into the wormhole corp? And if so, what are the requirements? Uh, yeah, we'll get into that next week, but yes, I would think so. Um, there is actually a hogs corp that is part of the alliance in the wormhole that I'm moving into. Um, and but nobody seems to know whether or not they're active or not. Um, so yep, we'll see. I'll find out more this weekend and next week as I get involved with it. Favorite city knows one of the guys in the wormhole corp, and it's complicated. Yeah. So, um, you know, so the the corp that I'm joining out there is not a hogs corp, but, um, you know, I'm sure if uh, you know they're as they're part of an alliance and stuff. They uh, probably would not object to a hog corp joining, since especially since one's already in there. The complicated one. And uh, 
you know. the way I make a living right now the best way I've ever experienced? Uh, hmm. It certainly has the potential. I've been doing this since 97, so... Uh, I have made more money in the past, that's for sure. And you are doing those frost sides, right? Mm -hmm. Or however they are called. Mm -hmm. I haven't found a single one. You won't find any in high sec. Super competitive. I'm out, uh, I'm out in Null. And uh, I've found seven or eight of them so far this morning. Do you need to scan them down or are no, they... No, they just appear on the overview. Yeah, Operation Frostline Target is what the beacon says. I don't like that shared cache. Wow. Shared cache between your... Uh... The EVE client, it's... Since uh, that was released, or since that was released, the client or the launcher is not working properly at my computer. Hmm. Just a pain. I haven't had any problems with it. Have you tried the new launcher? It says it's... I mean, today it was working six hours ago or seven hours ago. And now it was saying trying to download launcher update, but it's not starting to download at all. No, have you tried the new launcher? Are you on the new launcher or the old launcher? I don't know which is the new and the old. What's the difference? There's a beta launcher. Um, and it offers a bunch of different options in it uh, so if you're just if you're just want doing the if you didn't select the beta one already then you're not running the beta one and that might be an option though to go find the beta launcher and try it you may have a lot more success with it mm -hmm. it also um, allows you to launch multiple clients simultaneously and stuff like that and will save your passwords and stuff Saving passwords, okay. That sounds nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm trying to repair to at the moment. Let's see if it's working after. Brain and Black posted a link to it in chat. Yep. Supposedly, it'll import your. Uh previous settings. I can just install it. I have not been able to get that import to work. Huggy Burger, I don't, I don't understand the question. Like, what do I miss most about previous jobs? I love what I do right now. I don't miss anything. And every experience in my previous jobs has been of value to me. So. I guess when I worked for the government, I didn't like the politics. <laughs> Who does like them? <laughs>
that's not something I miss. Dude, when you're self-employed, um, when you're, when you're self-employed, um, you know, there's nothing you miss other than, I guess that, you know, I enjoyed going out to lunch with coworkers or something, and now I just have to have lunch with all of you guys, which really sucks, but, you know, you, you make sacrifices. Just kidding. Um, I did enjoy going out to lunch with coworkers, but that also meant that I had to go to work, go to an office. Did my bosses bitch at me every day? No, never. I, I, if, if, um, if I felt like a boss was being abusive, I told him to shove it and I quit. I wouldn't put up with that. So, I always have, uh, it's very rare when I've had a job where I couldn't, I couldn't leave it if, uh, if I wanted to. Yeah, the only boss that bitches at me every once in a while is my wife now. We, uh, my wife and I, we get along really well. So... We have discussions about things sometimes, but, um, you know, there's no, certainly no knockdown, drag out fights. I um I did one time um I did have an abusive boss one time and I really loved my job. And he was actually <clears throat> So there was the owner of the company and then his son worked at the company. And his son was probably about 30 or so. And uh I think I was 18 or 19, maybe even 20. And I was driving a truck. A module has run out of charges. And uh, the, <clears throat> the uh, uh, owner's son would give me directives sometimes that conflicted with what the owner said. And so then I would just go to the owner and I'd say, which do you want me to do? Would you like me to do his, uh, what he says, or would you like me to do what you say? And, and I'll let you guys, you know, work it out if... You know, I'm just going to you because you're the top dog here. And so whatever you say is what I do. And he would tell me or whatnot, and, and the owner's son got overruled a couple of times, and he really got pissy with me. You know, and he would he would make these kind of threats, like, you got to do what I say, otherwise you get fired type of thing. And I'm like, okay. So, um, didn't really didn't really upset me but I just I just thought he was kind of a dork and then one day I got a call at 4 30 in the morning at my house and uh, I didn't have a cell phone back then so you don't like pick up your cell phone and see that you got voicemail so at, like 4 30 in the morning I get a call and um, unbeknownst to me that I even had this call. I get to work at 7 o'clock and I'm told by the boss's son that I'm fired. And I'm like, why am I fired? And he said, you showed up to work late. And I'm like, my start time is 7 a.m. I'm here. 
I'm not even I'm not even a minute late. You know, I'm, I was always the kind that was 15 minutes early. And everything. Um. Oh yes, Eve Valkyrie will ship with every Oculus Rift at launch. Yes. Okay, they finally announced that. I actually knew that was coming. So, um, the uh, so anyway, I'm like, what the fuck? I do not understand what's going on. And and you know, so he's yelling at me because I'm yelling at him because I'm like thinking this is bullshit. And I'm like, you can't fire me for showing up on time, you know. And uh, so. Anyway, he says, I called you this morning, and you didn't answer. I left you voicemail to show up to work early to run this, uh, to do this special run, and you're late. You're fired. <laughs> and I was like, holy fuck, what just happened? Uh, I went and talked to his dad, and his dad says, you're not fired. Get out on the dock and do your work. I'll talk to him. <laughs> I'm like, I, how am I even supposed to know that I had voicemail? You know, you, you, the voicemail back in those days was you picked up the phone and you heard a stuttered dial tone. That's how you knew you had voicemail. So you had to pick up the phone and listen to it to know whether or not you had voicemail. There, there, later phones came out with little lights on them that would blink if you had voicemail. But that was later on. So, um... Anyway, yeah, uh, I liked that job. I really did. I like. I love driving truck, and but uh, I I had uh, opportunity. I went and I went and took a test for a government job. Of shit, did I just do that person? I went and took a government job. Or I, I applied to be a bus driver, a city bus driver, and uh, and uh, ended up being the youngest driver they had ever hired. They hired me before I was 21, which you had to be 21 to drive a bus. But uh, I passed all the tests, and you could get your your permit and everything at uh, before 21. And so, uh, day after my 21st birthday. Um, I had graduated class. I went through, I don't know, three months of training and uh, was then making, I don't know, at uh, 21 years old, I was making about, uh, I think about $18 an hour. And this is, you know, 20 years ago. So um, I left the trucking company and started moving people instead of freight. I think being a truck driver is a very lonely job. No, you meet people all over the place. You're on the road a lot. Listen to a lot of talk radio. I, if I were doing it now, I'd be listening to talk radio. I'd be listening to a lot of podcasts. And I um, nowadays, you can be on comms, on TeamSpeak and stuff while, while you're driving down the road. Nah, no problem. No, no reason to be lonely. In fact, there are people... Anybody in chat here right now that's driving down oh, the road listening? Combo. Pimp Daddy Jesus, thank you for re seven four months. You're the second one today. 20 gold to everybody. Do we have any truck drivers that are uh, that that are uh, listening right now? Because uh, I've had truck drivers come on the show and say they use uh, voice to text. And uh, they'll talk in chat and everything. And... Uh, while they're driving down the road. I hope they're not watching. Onesie Soup, he says, I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, you don't you don't need to be disconnected these days. And I, I hope you're not actually watching. <laughs> but, um, you know, listening, no problem. Space Trucker, yeah, that's a different type. Yeah, Duke worked for that one. So, you know, if I had to go out and do the work thing again, 
and it was just myself. You know, I didn't have family, a family or nothing. I'd totally go out over the road again. So. Okay. Let's see. 196 viewers right now. At 200, we are uh, drawing for a brand new account. And uh, so. Uh, along with one of the uh, content packs. And so just a few people away from that happening. Uh, exclamation point ticket space one or higher if you have more gold. One gold per ticket. Mike in YouTube says, I'm getting unloaded right now in, in Glasgow. And he's home every night. Glasgow, Kentucky? Huh. So, by the way, those of you watching on YouTube, the uh, giveaways only work in Twitch chat. There is a link in the description to get to Twitch chat. You can watch wherever you want, but the giveaways only work in Twitch chat. Unfortunately. Okay, we're going to open this puppy up. Draws at 200 viewers. We're at uh, 193 now. We lost a couple. Ah... <sighs> More of the same. I mean, I've picked up 46 Welcome million worth the of loot. Dragons. Oh my. All right. Continuing on. Sam's Hawk and Gazu Yurkel and Primees, thank you for following. Welcome. The legend, that legend of dungeon twitch like game came out. Mark, you reminded me of part of it. I don't even, what are you talking about? I don't know what it is. So obviously I'm not a part of it. Yeah, and if you can set up on your phone, you know, to where you can listen to the show or even watch, you know, especially if you're a team, a trucking team. You know, you might be passenger watching. I'd be playing Eve at the same time. I wouldn't necessarily be doing anything where if I lost connection that it would be bad. I probably wouldn't PvP, but I'd do a lot of station training and stuff. Okay. So I'm blue to these guys. Where am I at? These guys are Star Fox Initiative. Don't recognize it. But let me see. Sons of Bane. I have good standings. Let me see if I can dock. Looks like I'll be able to. Doggy Burger Explorer it is. The best charges, uh, Scourge. Or Kinetic, yeah. Docking permission. Okay, so we're blue to them, but we can't dock. That's really interesting. Hmm. Okay. That's going to make it a little bit difficult for buying stuff. Figuring out uh, 
What's what? If I actually have stations I'm blue to but can't dock? So, yeah, I've not encountered that before. I've always, um, I mean, I know you can set up the stuff that way, but it's always been that, you know, if I'm uh, blue to the station, that I can dock. So, okay. So I'm gonna end up having to, when I go to buy something, I might have to have a, uh, a scout to go see if he can dock. Yeah, I've just, uh, I'm in Moose Army now. Yep, we're over 200 viewers now. Hey, well, I guess I'll continue on here. Okay, so exclamation point ticket space one, last call. New message here. Uh, if you win, Welcome we'll be asking you the dragons. if you want a colonist, explorer, industrialist, or skirmisher. If you don't know or you don't answer, then I choose for you. You have about a minute to answer. Welcome to the dragons. Welcome to the Dragons. Warp drive active. Welcome to the Dragons. Ruby Acme and Rizzo Zero and Crapple Me, uh, thank you for following. Welcome. I'm writing this up. As soon as I got this written up, I'll uh, we'll close it and we'll do the draw. If you miss out, no problem. We're going to do another one. Docking permission requested. Docking permission denied. <laughs> All right. Okay, closing it. Famous last word, huh? Yeah. And okay, drawing. Permission. Havoc. Congratulations, Havoc. Put in 500 tickets. So Havoc, Industrialist, Skirmisher, Colonist, or Explorer. Which do you choose? Toggy Burger. I cannot say whether or not the brand new ships need any work done on them because I've not flown a single one of them. I did fight against one and he had uh, stabs <laughs> uh, and he got away, even though I had him grabbed. But other than that, I didn't even get a good look at him.
Okay, Havoc. Looks like I get to choose for you. Let's see. What shall we choose? How about Industrialist? Okay. So that is sent. Havoc, if you're listening, check your Twitch mail. You'll find it uh, contained within. Oh, the Assault Frigates? I've never flown any of the Assault Frigates either. <laughs> So, I can't answer that. Hey, okay, we started a new one. So, we'll draw again at 300 viewers or the end of the show. Whichever comes first. Hey, I'm only uh, six jumps out now. I should be in friendly territory. Should be in areas that I can actually... Uh, I can actually dock in. This one's in this one's Freeport. The station is currently contested. Hmm. Interesting. I still have some stuff in here, so actually. Let's go next door here. Warp drive active. and uh, pick up some supplies that I've got there on my way to here. See you later, Mike. Welcome to the Dragons. Hey, hopefully I can dock here. Welcome to the Dragons. Let's see here. Maybe not. Well, we're going to find out. I've got stuff in this station. <clears throat> it's only 10 million worth, but I'm going to see if I can pick it up. Or any of it up. Yep, I'm docking. Docking request accepted. So weed. Okay. So, uh, it's just uh, let's see that and. Okay, my hold is full. Hello, video blog. Welcome back. So, it's just some uh, warp disrupt probes. Maybe I can fit this one tritanium in, too. Look at that. Got it. <laughs> And there's no sights in here. I kind of like living in this area of space, but... Um, you know, it's a little too close to high sec for me um, in that regard. I, I really like how far away Stain is. And uh, so... I like I like living further away. I know it's more of a pain in the ass to get supplies out there, but there's a lot of uh, you know solo stuff that you can do without getting bothered. I like doing some of the solo stuff. Warp drive active. Yes, I saw somebody mention uh, Rat Hunter. Yes, I see somebody here named Rat Hunter. Let's see here. Rat Hunter. Northern Army. 
2,000 kills, 82 losses. Wow. He's got a really excellent kill board. Oh, but his average number of attackers is 18. Okay. So he's doing that mostly in fleet. You see more, uh, much more traffic in Delve compared with Stain? You know, I get 20 to 30 people a day in my system in Stain. Uh, people who I don't know who they are or that are hostile. And that's it. So uh, I haven't done it, spent a whole lot of time in Delve. But uh, yeah, Carl, you can post a link. The mods will take a look at it. And if it looks OK, they'll repost it. Drop from Frostline site? Yeah, let's post it. Let's see it. Yeah, my kill board's not very good either. But let's see this character. I got 204 kills, 103 losses. Average number of attackers is six. Apparently I lost a ship five days ago. I don't remember what that was though. Oh, I just went through a bubble. No, he got a plex. Oh, no way. Look at that. Dude. That's awesome. Nice drops. Okay, so the plex drops are real. I guess the chance is 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.00001 or something. Wait. <laughs> Welcome to the dragons. Is that... Hmm. Hmm? Okay. No, I was just looking at that. Um, I, I was just actually analyzing it to see whether or not it was fake. <laughs> I mean, if I take a look at it, it's just a cargo container. and I don't know, is, is it a hacking site or what is that? Uh, well, that's one of the frost sites. Yeah, yeah, but do you need to hack an object? No, but the know. last the last one you kill drops a container. Ah, okay, so, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got a 30 day skin was the best thing that I got out of any of these. Um, so this okay, so this this station should be good I'm almost uh, at home systems here I don't know which um, let me see here getting up into wormhole space this weekend and uh, Dust Rider it was a plex in there British Waldo if you miss Eve you're welcome to come back
What do I do for a living? Sell video games. Exclamation point coupon. Get a few percent off and any uh, purchases you make support the show. Which store supports me. here doing this one it appears so I guess I will I got just enough cargo hold space for doing another one of these, and if I get something really glorious that's going to take a lot of space, I'll dump something. British Waldo, thank you for following. Also, uh, Mega Madness and uh, Morphine, please. And Amaralin. What did I miss you guys? I didn't see you guys come in. Thank you for following. Welcome. Think it's funny that I sell video games? Okay. <laughs> Good old bad karma here. He's targeting me. Uh, Mike, thank you for the kudos. They're all targeting him because, well, he's out there. They're not coming over to me. They're all targeting bad karma. How do you think about doing that level 5 challenge again at some point? Level 5 missions with frigates only? Yeah, that'd be fun. Now we have logistic frigates as well. This is something I absolutely mm. must have missed. I was quite wondering, what? Logistic frigates? Really? No, they just they just came into the game. Yeah, that's amazing. Somehow also a bit hilarious, but nice idea.
Thanks, Mike. Yeah, this is a Tengu. <laughs> Welcome to the Dragons. Dot DK, thank you for following. Welcome. Yeah, the graphics have much improved. So, and they just keep improving. That's one of the nice things about EVE is that um, there's always improvements. They're always keeping up with the times. So, you certainly don't feel like you're playing a game of 12 years old. How do I check... Um, people's fighting history. I use a program called Pirate's Little Helper. And uh, there's also killboard sites where you can just look up the character's name on them. Yeah, Google Pirate's Little Helper, download that and install it. And then basically you just cop, you know, select all and then copy the names in local. And uh, and it'll come up with all kinds of information for you. This is um, this is this is the kind of stuff that it comes up with. And like uh, you know, here's Bad Karma who's here with me, and uh, got a pretty good kill board there. 3,600 kills, 499 losses. So you make a determination about whether or not there's somebody you want to fight or avoid or or don't care about. Wow, the week passed so quickly. Crazy. A module has run out of charge. Yeah, I've been working. Oh, let's see here. Who is this in system? Pudge Pudge. It's Care Bear. Care Bear. <laughs> he is. He's listed as a Care Bear. His last, oh, his last loss was a mobile tractor unit. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> the brave MTU. <laughs> yeah, I think Pirate's Little Helper is actually linked in uh, below the video as well. So. 
Sounds interesting. What's that? Pirate's little helper. It tells you intel about people in your system. And so you can see whether or not you want to to engage with them, run from them, not worry about them. It also um, can take your D-scan results. You do three D-scans uh, and uh, around the system, and you can triangulate the position of people within the system. So it, um, it's a pretty interesting little tool. I have not done the triangulation, but I know it does it. And uh, so yeah, it's a pretty interesting little uh, little thing. Uh, appraisal. I also right. even, I even use it in my freighter so that I know whether or not I've got to worry about uh, targets that are in the system. Doesn't look like there's a link. Oh, thought I had one. Eh, just normal stuff. Oh, bad karma left. Be that or he cloaked. Okay, nothing too exciting. Nothing to see here, folks. Just coiffe and more shirts. Welcome to the dragons. Hey, head into the system next door. We're gonna dock up and call it home. The name of the app is Pirates Little Helper. You can Google it. You're just here to lend a hand, Feral Loki? Okay. I kind of figured, but, you know, if it was something really cool in there, I was going to share it with you. Just saying. Actually, I was just going to have to fight you for that plex. <laughs> ah, favor, thanks for posting the link to Pirates Little Helper. Um, sexism says that you guys need to AWOX me as a welcome. I'm in my Tengu, and if you want to piss me off, that would piss me off. Please wait till I fly something else in, like a, you know, three billion Marauder. But you take away five days of skill gain from me, yeah, you'll piss me off. <laughs> You're in a new chip? Doesn't matter, Feral. I don't need power to shoot rockets. I don't think I do. I probably need it for my shielding, though. Yeah. Okay, he's waiting on the gate for me here. I see him. So, I'm, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll set this as my home station, and uh, then I'll see what kind of ships are for sale around here, because I don't have any ships here. What's our security? Negative 0.7. Nice. That's nice. So we have every kind of, Wow. We have a ton of sites to run here. That's cool. Need power for my shield modules. I know, I know. Okay. Well, placing my first items into my new home. Call this station here. Set home station, accept the cost. Ah, now I can relax. Let's see what's available around here. Oh, not that. I don't want to build a ship. I want to see if there's one already pre-built. Cineball, 170 million, 21 jumps away. Gosh, and I don't even know whether or not I can get into some of these. Um, I'd really
basically like a battleship fire sale <sighs> get all that junk who wants to carry that out so and already I'm just I'm noticing that just because I'm blue to a station doesn't mean I can dock is that the normal thing here it's kind of weird Two hundred twenty million. What is this? An Ishtar? Nope. One hundred eighty million. An Aquator. Can't fly that. That's actually isn't that a good price on that though? Hmm. Multi mod for sale. Hello, CPU. So, actually, how far away was that? Eight jumps away. Yeah, and I, can't, I just can't tell if I'm able to dock in these stations or not. I don't know how to know. After running into that blue station that I couldn't dock at. Crusader... There's something for a billion, what is it? It's a garage sale, that's what it is. Eight jumps away. What are we listening to? This is Monster Cat music. So, 1.1 billion, let's see, there's four Hurricanes, two Myrmidons, a Talus, an Oracle, a Gnosis, a Brutix, Scythe, Purifier, Retriever, Procurer, Harpy, Raptor. There's actually a lot of stuff in here. This looks like somebody left town. Oh, and there's even some corpses. Hmm. So, let's see. These fitted up. I don't even know if these are fitted. None of this stuff is fitted. So, so there's no complete ships here. They want 1 billion. Eve Prazel's at 1.1 billion on the buy. The sell is 1.27. There's a lot of ships in here is the problem and getting those moved out. I don't know how far uh, uh, jump away we are from... Uh, how many jumps to high sec in a freighter? Jump freighter. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find out. Systems with a high set connection. No way. One. Oh my god, and it's at head GP. Okay. That's not a very great system for. That's 9.75 light years away. That um <clears throat> that station there is a little iffy too. Uh I've never encountered before until I docked at the station there. You have to accept a docking fee. And so I had to pay, I don't know, 200,000 disc or something like that to dock. Um, which was interesting. And I certainly wouldn't want, that, that system is so violent. I certainly wouldn't want to land there and um, and and such and that's to a high sec system so you know what it's fine that it goes to high sec i'm not gonna fly my freighter 
my my carrier or my jump freighter through uh, bubbles on the way out. That gate is typically heavily bubbled. It's just is not a very good solution. So, um, <clears throat> so and that is the only the only one within range. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's really interesting. It's the only one I've ever it's the only station I've ever come across that has a docking fee. <clears throat> Four hundred and fifty million. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Damn. They want 450 million for it, and it's worth only 3 million, 300 million. They're in drugs. There must be something in there that got renamed. Oh, yeah, docking fees would be good to see who came in and out. I don't like that it asks me. I wouldn't mind having a feature that said, um, <clears throat> um, let's see. Can dock at stations that belong to AAA but have to pay a docking fee. Yeah, well, I'll have to figure that out. Uh, I, I think that when I buy stuff out here, it's just going to be a little bit different method of thinking about it. So it has to be stations that we own or has to be... Uh, um, I have to send a scout out to make sure I can dock. <clears throat> Norca. That'll do battle well. The Hulk. Dominic's. Here's a rattlesnake. 14 jumps away. I don't have a carrier out here either. <clears throat> Maybe I should buy a carrier. Because <clears throat> then I can transport fitted ships. But I got to see... I gotta see uh, what all stations I can actually dock at. I think that's um, really gonna be important. Oh, that one's, uh, this one's, uh, okay. Owned by uh, Corp that we can dock at, okay. So. Rattlesnake with rigs. I mean, just have to ship something in. That's probably what I'll end up doing. I don't know how far away. Let's see, what's the closest uh, trade hub? Is it a, probably Amar? Yeah. 27 jumps from Amar. <clears throat> Yeah, let's see. Let's go by jumps away. Current station. What is it? A procurer. Not sure that's a good price. It's okay. Nothing I need. Uh, okay, so there's a chair on here. <clears throat> Seems to me that we're in null, and that's a freighter. I'm just saying. <laughs> One jump away. Hey, I'm back. Hey, welcome back.
I'm not finding very much good stuff on the market here. That's five jumps away. This is another garage sale. 65 million. You have a jump freighter route that's five jumps from Amar. Gets you five jumps from Amar, yeah. 90 million, and they want 65. <clears throat> but can I dock at that station? Yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> so I can basically make uh, 30 million. Let's see, is anything fitted? Those are damaged. What are the? What's the value of those? Darn things are fitted. Totally wrecks a lot of the value. Well, 81 million for the Oracle. But then it's uh, 4.5 million for the other stuff. I don't need it. I don't need the hassle. It's not worth uh, the money. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to uh, bring some stuff down in, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll have to figure out um, a route. Oh, wait. Well, from Amar to here, one, two, three jumps. That's not too bad. <clears throat> that's uh, that's pretty reasonable, actually. this system has a uh, high sec connection looks like it may <clears throat> okay yeah then I have uh, I have I have freighters at Amar as well to get uh, so I don't have to jump my do my jump freighter and High sec. Well, let's see here. Let's go look at what kind of stuff is out here. So I know kind of what kind of ship that I'm going to bring. This is Sancha. Okay, so Sancha is. Well, you use kinetic? Is that right? Against, against Sancha? I remember.
Let's see here. Um, here I have a quick reference sheet and So Sancha EM Thermal. Okay. So Molinar. I always pronounce it wrong. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay. <clears throat> well, that will work. Does anybody have a nice uh, uh, scorpion they'd like to sell me? I really like flying scorpions. Docking permission requested. Oh yeah, you like that sheet? Accepted. Here, I can give you all a uh, link to that. go I do not play Santa at Christmas nor any other time of the year Yannick thank you for following welcome okay so gosh are we just gonna turn this into a freighter run now <laughs> I really don't want to spend a whole bunch of time flying a freighter because my jump freighter is 20 some jumps away from a mar and i certainly don't want to fly it in high sec on stream i don't mind jumping but uh flying it high sec is not something that's good to do on stream Let's see, do I have... I at least have Tengu Fit up there in Amar. Just run some sites with the Corp. Well, what do you mean? I mean, uh, I want to run some sites. I need a ship. This Tengu is uh, is the um, it's travel fit. Um, complication, thanks, but I gotta I gotta have a ship. Hey, I need to I need to get some ships. <clears throat> so I think we're gonna fly to Amar and. Uh, figure out some ships and put together a package to be delivered down here. Maybe I'll just be uh, lazy and pay somebody. What, Mandelbrot? You'll, you'll contract me one? What is it you're going to contract me? Am I going to like the price? Um... Man, you are noisy, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that was. <laughs> oh, I pushed the to sec. Oh, give me a second. <laughs> That's my chicken rice soup. Yeah, yeah, you're like scraping the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, just use a fit you'd usually use on it. Uh, yeah, I have to... Yeah, I um, I really, uh, I mean, I can bring another Tengu out here, too, so that I can have one of each fit. Um, 
So I've got, um, I've got, I, I've actually got an EM fit uh, Tengu in Amar that I can go pick up. Let's see, do I have any other ships close by? You know what? I have a ton of stuff around here. Let's see, let me do a search. And we'll just see here. Ship. So. Uh, 13 jumps out. Ooh, I have Bubba. Ship, blockade runner. I have Bubba that's a frigate. I have Bubba that's an interceptor. I have Bubba that's a logistics ship. <laughs> I bought somebody's stuff. I have Ed that's a shuttle. Ooh, I have a Naga. How far away is this? 13 jumps. Uh, I have a command ship out there. You know, I have a Naga, which could be a lot of fun to fly. You know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go get this Naga. Yo, Bubba, let's go fly some missions. <laughs> um, I hope it's fit up. Let's see. It is. It is. Welcome it's all to fit the up. Dragons. Hey, we're going to go pick up Bubba. We're going to rename this ship Bubba when we get there. So. <clears throat> Welcome okay. to the Dragons. We're going to we're going to go down and we're going to we're going to get this from Bubba. That's in stain. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of my ship names, Brian. Bubba. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bubba's coming to the party. I promise not to spit on your shoes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, CPU. Yes, I changed corpse. And CPU, uh, you are Blades of Grass. I did apply it to you guys while I was looking around, and um, and and I ended up uh, coming here. And and I really like what Blades of Grass stands for. Oh, contract is up. So okay, so he's contracted me something. Okay, I'll look. Um, I really like what you guys stand for, and I may still want to put uh, character two uh, up with you guys. Um, so, what? Come on, really? Oh, wow. <clears throat> McCavin, why are you just giving this to me? Yeah. It's not bling bling. Well, it is. It looks very nice. Um, I have a, I have a really, um, I, bring it back, bring it back, let's see, bring it back, man, let's see, what? <clears throat> so, um, yeah, he loves me, oh, I feel loved, all warm and fuzzy now, um, yeah, I'm always skeptical. <laughs> Folks, this is Eve. What's he going to want in return? Do I have to kiss? <laughs> <laughs> I never did manage to talk with anybody, CPU. Well, I did get an answer back just saying to give in my... Uh, my information and I did um, but uh, okay so let's see what we got here get in TS okay well uh, I'd have to switch I'm, I'm on TS um, I'll have to switch over to the other one um, so Brian I saw you have rights over on there TS what, what, what which team speak uh, moose bank moose army yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So I guess I'm going to go over there and talk to them. So. Okay. Hello, guys. Hello. hello. Hey. So, so what is it that I have to give in exchange for this gift? <laughs> Your soul. Well, that's a lot easier than some of the other things I was thinking of. Okay, good. <laughs> hey, Murky, how you doing? Good, good. 
So, uh, yes, uh, thank you for that gift there. I want it back as soon as you get a ship. But uh, well, well, I was gonna it. go get one right now. Well, you can use it right now, and you can get one ship down. Well, um, yeah, I was. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, so you want it back? Oh, okay. Don't owe nothing if you then. Blow up. That's fine, man. I don't care. I'm not gonna blow up. Why can't I get into the ship? I'm clicking on it. It's not letting me. Hmm, am I about to drop connection? No idea. What? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, Is there something you can't fit on that one? I don't know. It just doesn't tell me anything. I click on it and nothing happens. It's really weird. Maybe and, you accepted the contract, yes? Yeah. Oh, I see it in my inventory. Gives me the op option to trash it, but not to board it. Hmm. Make active? Welcome to the dragons. Well, that should happen when I click on it. It's got stuff on it. And I've got... Uh, yeah, no, you've got to go up to mark, make active. What is make active? Why? This is a fitted. Uh, this is the a, top. I know, but it's a fitted ship. Why would I have to make it active? Just do it. Nothing happened. I think you're probably losing connection. Sweet! I should undock right now while I'm losing connection. See what happens. It is missing subsystems, but how do I get in there to put in the subsystem? Because it only had three subsystems in it. It shouldn't be. What the fuck? Was there a patch recently? Um, like this morning. <laughs> I see it now. Uh, let's see. Can I get to the fitter fit for it? Um, let's see. View contents. There we go. Yeah, it's only got three subsystems in it. That's that's really odd because I that's what I use for writing all the time. This there's something wrong with this ship. What'd you do, McCann? Nothing. I just undock with that thing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, contract it back to me. I'll, I am. I'll figure it out. You broke it, Kevin. Yeah, that's what I do. It's like what, one third of a fit. Yeah. I don't even know how you did that. You know, this guy McCavin tried to sell me half a ship one time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you sure that Volkswagen didn't manufacture this one? Um, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, it's contracted back to you. So, anyway, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I got, I got a, another character here, and uh, I'm going to bring him on, and um, he'll be an escort for me to go down and pick up Bubba, which is a few jumps away. Uh, that's a Naga, which is normally something that I would just sell or throw away or whatever, but uh, it could be kind of fun. I've never really flown a Naga before, so, you know, something to, something to look at. Hello? Okay. Well, I don't suppose... I'll, I guess I'll mute myself so that you guys aren't uh, hearing no, me for fine, the whole man. show. Oh, what? You want to hear the whole show on here in the group? We're know. used to moose, so we mute uh, the uh, channel. Oh, it's reverse. Reverse. He doesn't mute his mic, so you just all mute him? Yeah, we mute stream, and we just listen to uh, Team Zeke. Wow. 
Okay. That's interesting. I'm interested to figure out what was wrong with my fit, because I just, I used it two nights ago. But did you leave the zipper down on it? Must have. I don't know. Well, because it's, it's named, it's got your name on it. And it's, so it's, it's like it's not, uh, um, like not something you would have actually flown because you have noticed that the name was wrong. Just my thought. At this point, I don't bother renaming shit. Oh. At least for my writing bits. Nobody ever comes in and tries to gank you guys? Oh, they do. oh all the fucking time. But uh, I duck up or pause up at that point. A red Zambi, do I like... Uh, just Honestly, bit of... most of the time I play I play Lodgy, so. Rename it Bubba and that will fix the problem. That's what chat says. I will rename every ship I have Bubba now. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I bought all these ships from somebody and all the ships are named Bubba. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Okay, well, uh, normally on the show, I do not have so many people with comms. And uh, so I'm going to, uh, I think, I, I think for right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move back over to my other team speak for the moment. But That is very wise, my friend. Um, that is very wise. But uh, I will still be in here. I'll just mute myself and uh, uh, will pop in when, you know, shit hits the fan or whatever. So, or, and you guys can poke me at any time and I'll see, I, I usually see those. So if you need to talk to me, hey, be back after a while. Okay. So, uh, back on my team speak here and I shouldn't, they shouldn't be hearing me. The other one. Hey, yeah, I don't, I don't know all the guys there yet. Uh, and I really, I, Moose may overrun them all with uh with him just talking on the stream hot mic'd all the time uh i'm not really uh thinking that uh, that i want to do that so so See, I'm boring. Let's see here. I got a customer here I'm trying to help out. Okay, let's see here. This is a tough customer case. Okay, let's see here. Are you guys burning each other alive in here? 
So, okay. Yeah, no, I'd be happy to um, switch back and forth between comms when uh, when we're doing stuff together. No, that'll be a lot of fun, but uh, for the parts of the show where I'm not, uh, you know, uh, flying with them or whatnot, um, yeah, let's see here. Okay. Damn it, Eve, stop patching already? Yeah. There's been a few patches over the last few days, actually. Um, the, the, the biggest content patch we've had in quite a long time came in Tuesday, and then they had to patch the next day, and they had to patch today. There were some issues, and uh, so. Uh, but it's, um, you know, things are getting much better now. They fixed the map. Thank God. <laughs> that map. Damn. Okay. So, I wonder if I have any carriers out here. Because I could go and get a carrier, and then I could just fly the carrier up here and pick up all the Bubba's at one time. Oh, he's way away. 36 jumps away. I wonder if I could buy another carrier out and stain out there. You're going to be lost when you get back into Eve? Now, actually, so consider consider Eve like the bicycle that you learned to ride as a kid and you've been gone for a few years and you come back and it's a freaking 10 speed, 12 speed, whatever. And it's got all these other options on it and everything. You still know how to ride the bike. It's just that it's got a whole bunch of new options. Um... I uh, want an Archon? Yeah, I'll buy an Archon. So, yeah, I would buy an Archon. Uh, I can fly an Archon, I can fly a, a Nidhogger, and I can fly a Thanatos. Oh, and no, I can't fly a Thanatos, I can fly a, a Kadari one. So, I have three different carrier types I can fly. Because this character is just that good. Okay. So, but I'd want to see what the fit is and a price. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go grab another pop here real quick and I'll be right back.
That sounded absolutely brilliant on the music there. There was something wrong there, wasn't there? Okay. Okay, so um, I think in a few days we're going to have the skins with some of the codes. I'll have to look at all that after the show. And, uh, okay. So, now, oh, I found something more than just a drink. Yep, I did. I walked out there, and there was cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. So, um, mm-hmm. Mmm, cookies. Now, okay, so as far as a carrier and stuff, um, let's see here. Well, I'll just, um, yeah, I'm going to fly down with my Tengu down there. And, uh, and, and I'll see if there's any carriers for sale down in Stain. So, you're not raiding my cookies. So Bad cookies. <laughs> I know. Guys, I'm sorry. But, you know, in order for the show to go on, I need more fuel than just Dr. Pepper. I'm just saying. Okay. So, yes, when I saw that, when I saw those, um, the extra stuff come out with the, with the Plex, um, <clears throat> I, uh, I immediately, uh, went and, um, and asked if we could get in on that, if there's any chance, and it looks like we are. So, um, what is today? is Thursday. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to wait for patch Tuesday for them to work, but we're going to have them next week. So, it's going to be good. The new Eve launcher looks nice. Mm-hmm. It does. Um, I haven't been using it because I have to set everything up again. Now they say that you can import it. I couldn't figure out the import. Because the import had two options to import from two different locations. I tried importing from both and neither one of them seemed to import my settings. So I'm just like, oh, I don't get it. Warp drive active. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, raiding the cookie jar. I don't usually eat anything with sugar. I usually stay far away from sugar, except for my love of ice cream. And uh, so I was, um, many years ago, when I was drinking uh, non-diet pop, my doctor told me that um, I was just about diabetic. So I cut out all sugar at that time. And, and I'm fine now, but I was doing it to myself because I was eating so much sugar. Uh, pretty unhealthy. Paraloki, I did not see the link about Oculus Rift, but I know that, um, that um, 
Valkyrie is a shipping title with Oculus Rift. And uh, I've known that was going to happen. I'm glad it is. Um, and the interesting thing about it is that, um, well, actually, I won't get into the business into that of that. I just, I, I'll, I'll just leave it alone. But I'll just say that um, right at launch, we won't be involved with Valkyrie. Um, I can't afford an Oculus Rift, um, and uh, we don't have a business opportunity there at the moment. But we may later, and we'll see how how Valkyrie does, and uh, <clears throat> and then. Um, you know, we'll see what kind of success they're having in the game, and then and then I'll pursue it from there based upon, you know, whatever the conditions are. I actually think Valkyrie is going to be free to play. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure of that, but I think that um, the Valkyrie is going to be free to play. So, and so I don't know, I don't know what the monetization is in it yet. Hello, Alex. Warp drive active. Yes, you can still multi-box now, but British Waldo Okay, so I know that you're just coming back to the game, and if you're referring to multi-boxing as in, as in clicking one item on one ship and having that and having that replicate to all the others, broadcasting is no longer allowed. You can run multiple clients at the same time, and um, but if you are using input automation, that is a no-go. So. <clears throat> Um, so they did change that rule. You're, wait, what? <laughs> You're here for my cookies? Yeah, IS Boxer is still allowed. And IS Boxer, from what I understand, they actually have changed it so that it's not, uh, um, so that it cannot do broadcasting with Eve. So. Okay. Drive active. Still in catch. Wait, am I going to have to go past the expanse to get down there to this? Oh, let me see here. Let me look at the map. Now that the map's working correctly. No. So, we're on the northern route. That's good. It's a real easy jump. In fact, that might be one jump <clears throat> in a carrier from there. Might be two, but it could be as little as one. Alex, I'm not sharing. I'm selfish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can somebody uh, post a link to the beta launcher for a uh, little power, please? <clears throat> Warp drive active. Uh, I have Sinotunes. I actually have about, I don't know, seven or eight. Welcome to the Dragons. You lost your legion? Boy, 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 boy. Yeah, I know. Welcome Alex, I am to absolutely the Dragons. horrible. Let's see. Now all I gotta do is remember which account <clears throat> that character is on and what his name is. That is my Sino character that I assigned down here for the court. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I don't remember. 
Does Evemon still work? Now that maybe that'll give me an idea. Should. Yeah. Well, the uh, battle clinic closed. Let me have a look. I'm I'm launching Evemon right now. We'll see what happens. It's oh. working for me. It is. Okay. Ah, there it is. Okay. Um, let's see. What is his name? I do not have all my characters on here. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, there's an update available. Is that really true? Let me start it again. <laughs> I guess I was updating it the last time two years ago. Uh, I'll tell it to update. We'll see what happens. It might explode on me. Yup, it's working. No, Evemon, why are you doing this to me? I decided it needed to be a top. Warp drive active. I couldn't click my jump. Okay. I love Evemon. Very nice tool. I wish it would tell me where my characters were located, though. Or that I could put notes on them. That would be cool. Hmm. I True. Think it, I think it's Scout McDurkle. Scout McDurkle. <laughs> I, I think that's I think that's my my guy down here. Now I just got to remember what account he's on. Where is it? No. Shit, I don't know. I wonder if I could YOLO that Nidhart or the that ship all the way back and nobody catch me. Sugar overload with these cookies. Drive active. A couple more jumps and I'll be there.
<laughs> oh yeah, British Waldo, you can also do a very long training queue now. No more one day. Mm -hmm. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. Okay, I'm in Sanchez space now. Oh, something targeting me. Yeah, so no more med clones. So the only thing you lose uh, skills on when you die in is uh, Tech 3 cruisers. Everything else, you don't have to uh, buy the clones anymore. Shifty Schizo, Till Beast. Uh, Shadow One, Cardool, thank you for following. And uh, Rido Zeven, thank you all of you for following. Welcome. Well, uh, British Waldo, just you know, give yourself a little time to figure things out on whether or not you're gonna try and get your capitals out. See if you even have access to the stations, because you may not. You may just have to put them up for sale, fire sale. Contracts want to sell. Number of jumps. One for 800 million. What is it? Oh, it's just stuff. Oh, no, there's a legion in here. Okay. Probably not very interesting. Okay, let's see here. 1.25 billion. It's an Archon! Two jumps away. Sweet! It doesn't... God, it doesn't have very much fuel in it. 1.25 billion... There's really nothing extra in its fit. It's just got nothing in it. Let's see, do I have any fuel at that station? I have stuff there at that station. It's 
a good price too. I actually have to transfer myself some money. I'm like 10 million short. Okay. Purchased. I now own another carrier. That download server speed. <laughs> I don't know what's taking you so long. It's insane. I'm sitting on 88% on downloading the new version for the new launcher, and it's not making any progress since 10 minutes. It's wow. Couple I guess it's a problem, a routing problem. A couple of weeks ago, they had a problem with the CDN. And it just wasn't delivering uh, the files. And that lasted for probably about half a day. Where it huh. just wasn't working right. I'm not a big fan of CDN. CD network. <clears throat> Am I saving for one carrier each system? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe one carrier each region. Okay. So, I'm happy with that, and yeah, and who needs a Sino? I can just jump this through the gates, right? <laughs> I'm trolling. Well, I like this uh, area that Moose Army is living in. Because I do a lot of business in Stain, and Stain's like uh, eight or nine jumps away. So, it's nice. Yeah, John. Uh, John's asking, saying he didn't know you had to put fuel in the ships, uh, and it is only certain types. So, um, capitals mostly, I think. So, link, please. Just a killboard. Elite camper. Not sure what you're asking for. So uh, this this ship has the ability to carry other ships, and uh, so it's just the really big ships. And uh, this isn't the biggest in the game, but this is uh, <laughs> gold luck. But it is a very big ship. So who's hyped for? Um, See here, so I'm gonna have to make probably two jumps, maybe three, with this. But I'm gonna I'm gonna bring all the Bubba's at once. We are going to have a Bubba convention. It's gonna be bubblicious. Mm -hmm. So I'll be able to tell you all what all the hubbubba is about. No, I'm not moving ships into the wormhole right now. Docking permission requested. Here is a uh, Archon. One point seven billion. Mm-hmm. Okay.
So, there we go. Here he is. This carrier. And... Hey, so I have enough fuel to jump up there. Nothing in the fleet hangar. Ship maintenance bay, nothing except for my Tengu now. No drones. Okay, let's see. We are going to change the name. This is the Bubba Hauler. So, let's see here. Taking care of a customer here real quick. Man, that was too much sugar for me, those cookies. When you don't when you don't eat a lot of sugar you, and then you have something like those cookies, uh, yeah, it's too much. Oh, give me just a second, folks. Holy shit. What do you do? Rob banks for a living? Now Marquis can kick ass and chew bubble gum. What the hell? Man. Um is that uh German? Just donated a hundred bucks. Yeah, you can uh you can really get Duke to cuss if you uh <laughs> A hundred bucks! Holy cow, I've enjoyed your YouTube channel for quite some time, so I figured I'd try and catch the live, uh, some live this time. Post, uh, scriptum, I am amazing at spin tires. <laughs> oh. Well, um, damn, I am honored that, uh, that you think I am so worthy. Uh, Mr. Neagle, that's you? Okay. Um, man, yeah, I, I'm very surprised, uh, that is, um, that, yes, that is holy cow, and so, well, in honor of the donation, just like I normally do, welcome to the dragons, in honor of, uh, Mr. Niggle, also known as, uh, Gilmond. I don't know how to pronounce that with that number in there. You know. But, 100 gold to everybody. Everybody tell them thank you. Tell them, uh, Mr. Neagle thank you. So, 100 gold to everybody. It's a party. Uh, somebody the other day said it was a golden shower. Um, of coins, of course. So. Yeah. 
Okay. So, wow. I am surprised by that. So, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. That's, that's very surprising. I, I got to finish with this customer. Don't let me get sidetracked here. Customer is done. Oh yeah, Green Monkey, you are not top dog anymore on the, the leaderboard for giveaways. Um, yeah, I, I, I tell you, honestly, I'm surprised every time somebody finds that much value in the show or what we do here or anything. Um, yeah, it's always <clears throat> surprising to me. What? What? Where were you? I was riding with CDN at the moment. Oh, somebody just donated a hundred bucks. Congrats! More cookies. <laughs> oh shit! More cookies. <laughs> yes. Yippee so. ki yay, motherfucker! Deserve. You, sir, rock. I'll send some extra bitches your way. Of course, that's after I'm done with them. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, Mr. Nagel um, says just 50 bucks just to confirm I am Mr. Nagel on Twitch. Dude, that's 150 bucks you've donated now. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what? I was going to break out the ce celebratory whiskey. You know what? Because that's what it calls for. And you want to know where it is? It's behind all these boxes. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Time to play Jenga. <laughs> Damn. Bubba says, What? I I don't know what to say, dude. Stop. You're making me feel uncomfortable. What are you gonna want in exchange? <laughs> um Yeah, the uh, I, I don't know what to say, but here's another 50 gold to everybody. In honor of Mr. Nagel. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. I appreciate it. So, yeah. Those are all second decade boxes. No, don't donate another 150. He doesn't need to donate. 150 already is just stupendous. Um, so, yes, that's really incredible. So, um, thank you uh, very much. I am speechless. <clears throat> okay. Um, now, back to the task at hand. Oh my god. What can I say, man? Okay, so let's, uh, we got to get this guy out there. And how many jumps is that going to be? Eh, it's not too bad. It's only 18 jumps and I'm in an interceptor. Welcome to Which the Dragon. The, the Rata Sunset skin. The Archon now, <laughs> yeah. You know, um, we've got some we've got some skin stuff that I'm gonna that we're gonna uh, have available next to the week. Dragons. So those um, those skins that you guys are seeing on the CCP packs for Plex right now, I think that we're about to have those too, but it won't be until Tuesday. So. Um, and uh, and I'll, I'll have more information on that 
in a bit. Um, I got I got to look over this stuff. So I just kind of scanned the information that I just got today Yippee during the show. Yippee motherfucker! You sir, rock. I'll send some extra bitches your way. Of course, that's after I'm done with them. <laughs> Gilmund, what the hell, man? Another fifty bucks. For OCD reasons, 150 sounds so bad. Got a clean zero zero at the end, dude. Another 50 gold for everybody. That's 200 bucks that you've donated now. I'm a little speechless. But everybody, tell them thank you. Y'all now, everybody who's been here for the last uh, 15 minutes or so, you're all now 200 gold richer. So, um, <clears throat> we did the 200 drawing already. So, Gold Luck says he's in before the chargeback. <laughs> that would really suck. Um, but those things do happen. So, um, anyway. Um, okay. Adopt you. We're gonna head down there and get a uh, Sino set up. And uh, we're gonna make a couple jumps. Yep, 212 years. We already did the 200 drawing. So. Warp drive active. Yeah, we did that uh, a couple hours ago and then the viewership dropped and then it came back up again. So, yeah, maybe he's just rich, says Brian. So, it, um, there are people who have money who play this game. I can tell you, I know of people who have spent more than $100,000 on Plex and Eve. So oh, nice. Dragons love gold treasure and, of course, dollar bills. So, OCD, now just to screw things up. See, Mr. OCD just wants to fuck with everybody. Because he just donated three... Uh, three dollars and fourteen cents and says here's some more pie so I know it's gonna mess with all of you 3.14 oh, gold nice. dragons love gold treasure and of course dollar bills and then from age to uneven things more out even from there another 3.14 gold Wow if I wasn't working I'd be taking shots for each one of these <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because it's awesome. Yes, so those of you with major OCD, that's now 6.24. Is that right? No, that's 6.28. So, hello, Jake. Ah, two slices of pie for everyone. <laughs> you know, that's what we need. Maybe the other icon should be a piece of pie. And the number 3.14 on it. Because I don't know what it is about you guys, but you guys all seem to really like pie. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Niggle's having conniption fits now because of the pie. See, look at that. Shadow Killer already has 689.8 gold. <laughs> okay, we're going through the most dangerous high sec to null sec connection there is. We're going through head GP. Why is there a mammoth at the gate? Welcome here? to the dragons. Is he really thinking of going in? Wow. Okay. So, and you know, I was saying about how I don't want to bring in uh, a bunch of. Uh, I don't want to bring my jump freighter. freighter oh, freighter. nice. Dragons love gold treasure and, of course, dollar bills. Let's see. 
Whoa. Look at all these drones that need to be picked up. Let's see, is my cargo hold full? My cargo hold is 100% full. Darn it. Okay. I can't save these drones. They're just gone. Holy cow, look at all those other drones in front of me. Okay. Ah. But here... So there was at least 20 ships on the gate there. Ah, so Mr. Neagle's spin tires. Yeah, uh, we're actually gonna do the next time, um, the next time uh, we're gonna do uh, Oh, Multiplayer on spin tires. Try it. Try, try it out. Oh wait, did I miss? Gosh. Okay, so Thalador, thank you for following. And then Alpha Wave, a third piece of pie for everybody. Three point one four to everybody. Everybody, give it up for Alpha Wave. Those of you who are just transferred gold back and forth to even out your numbers. Just got them screwed up again. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Plenty of warp bubbles around here. Uh oh. Three down. Alarms, alarms, alarms. Shadow Killer Art Play. Thank you so much for subbing. You are sub number three today. That's awesome. I really appreciate the support. Let's see here. And let me find you here because let's see here. Why don't I see you? Are you not online? Here, let me uh, jump to my next point here. Warp drive active. It's really strange. I don't see you on my list of subs. Hey, let me see what's going on here. Let me manually search for you. Something's wrong here. I can't even find you on my list. Yeah, I see you here, and I see you've got the... the... dragon symbol next to you now, like you should. Is that a five at the beginning instead of an S? Do you have a space in front of your name? Let's see here. What Four do you do? new elder dragons. Maybe we can build an army. What are you waiting for? An invitation? Subscribe now. All right, uh, maybe the application needs a second to catch up here. It's usually pretty quick, but... Um, so, and Mr. Niggle, thank you for subbing. Dude, I do not see you in the, uh, in the list. Let me see if I see Mr. Niggle.
No, I don't. I think I have a problem here. Hmm. This updates. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me try searching again. Turned off all filters. Oh, everybody with shadow in their name showed up. Damn, there's a lot of people with shadow in their name. <laughs> right. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I found you. Okay, I think they was just updating slow or something. 1,000 gold to you, sir. No, did that not work? There it is. Okay, 1,000 gold to you, sir. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subbing. You can use that gold for whatever you want. Hookers, blow, uh, dungeon raids, uh, giveaways, whatever you want. And then everybody give it up for Shadow Killer uh, Art Lay. His third sub of the day because he subbed his third one. 30 gold to everybody. And then, let's see here. Mr. Niggle, let me find you. There we go. Adding a thousand gold to you, too. Thank you for uh, subbing and for your support, your donations. I appreciate it. Everybody give it up for Mr. Niggle. Because of him, you're all getting another 40 gold. Because he was fourth sub of the day. So... There we go. Pretty incredible, I must say. You guys rock. All right. Damn it. What, did it crash? No, I should not have downloaded the new launcher. It's still updating. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not the new launcher's fault. It's the CDN. To connect. Yeah. Mikey, thank you for subbing on YouTube. Welcome. Oh, Jay Sunday has eighty-seven thousand gold. Well, Olympic Hero, 66,000. Okay. I'm getting overheated here. It's warm in my office. How do you sub? So, uh, Cadillac uh, spills. There is, or if you're watching on PC, lower left hand corner underneath the video, this button to sub. If you are on a tablet or mobile, then you have to use that link that I just posted in chat. So, uh, because for some reason, tablet mobile, it doesn't show anything. And so you have to actually use that link. So, of course, I appreciate everybody's support. Subbing is not required. Donating is not required. Just having you guys here is awesome. Um, but, you know, donations and the... Welcome to the Dragon. And the subs, definitely cool. Games Gaming, thank you for following, welcome. I know, it's all these boxes of insulation. Actually, uh, what I, I went and looked earlier, whenever I came in the room, I have another stack of boxes on the wall back there. And it... Um, um, <clears throat> It was, uh, 
um, the vent that I normally have open back there has gone closed. So I gotta try and unblock that. All right, may have to move all those boxes. Wasn't sure I was gonna try and do it during the show. What's on the plan tomorrow? Farming. You gonna oh, join yeah. us? Okay. Yeah, sure. Excellent. Yep. We're gonna go farming. We're not gonna plant trucks, I don't think, but yeah, we'll be farming. Uh, bad karma. Thanks for the uh, email on that. Um, no, I was not aware. Docking request accepted. So. I'll have to check that out later. Okay, is farming? I hope. Uh, no, we're gonna play a farming simulator. Uh, it's actually just—it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and uh, we can get uh, up to sixteen people on the server, and um, you know, we uh, we got some farming done. And we did some other stuff that was really not very productive, but made us laugh a lot. <laughs> Grip the car. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, let me see if I can buy a Sino here. Look at that. There's a bunch at this station. A little expensive, but that's okay. In liquid ozone. Ooh, really expensive, but it's available here. Let's see here. Yep, I just paid 150%. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, Farming Simulator 15 is pretty amazing. I really, I really enjoy it. And so... Uh, we can do that. Is there a limit on the tickets for the core set giveaway today? No. You can put in as many as you want. We'll draw out 300 viewers or the end of the show, whichever comes first. And uh, so, yeah, you can do as many as you want. Yeah, the hay bales off the roof was a lot of fun. My wife, uh, she, she insisted several times I make a highlight of that and put it on YouTube channel, so I did. And... Uh, Yeah, it only takes one. It only takes one ticket to win, um, but um, obviously, if you put in three thousand two hundred and twelve tickets, you are three thousand two hundred and twelve times more likely to win. Um, but uh, uh, still, we have seen people win with a point zero one percent chance to win. Uh, so we've seen that before. And you can put in more tickets if you want. Uh, it just depends on how much gold you want to spend. One one gold per ticket. All right, I need to get another drink. I'm going to do that. And then uh, come back and uh, we'll set up a Sino here and get our first jump done. So I'll be uh, right back.
Okay. Woohoo! I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a pretty good time today. Uh, maybe I'm just a little bit uh, stunned on the donations today. So, see you later, John. Okay, so let's see here. Hey, Calcron. Calcron, did you hear that your ship was the only, was only one of two ships that survived the emergency evac? Um, the cooking with Calcron. Yeah. Um, okay. So, now, I think my other character is another, yep. Okay, so now I've got to get, um, i got to figure out where I'm at. And, let's see, what is this place up here? Oh, there's a new Trojan out on the internet. A new what? A variation of Trojan. What's a Trojan? A virus, let's say it like that. Oh, virus. Tesla Crypt. A new variation of the Tesla Crypt, which is locking all your games. Encrypting it and then, yeah. They try to make money with you. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, and let's see here. We're going to set my home station to here because I might die. Exactly, Troy Gen. Trojan. Trojan. Oh, Trojan. Trojan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Trojan. Okay. 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 New Trojan condom? No, just Trojan. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I got the bug. Yep. I uh, I got I got the uh the camera look bug. There it goes. There's a bug when undocking from a station that your camera won't realign properly. It happened to me the other day. And uh they said they put in a fix for it, but it just happened again. Uh, except this time it did correct itself. So I wonder if they just put in code to say, well, if in this state then correct <laughs> or something like that. So, looks like YouTube wants a contract with me. Another one. Interesting. Okie dokie. Tomorrow at midnight, you can finally jump into the new T2 Command Destroyer. Okay. Yeah, I haven't even put any training toward that, and I, and I want to. Um, yeah, I just haven't even got into those. I, I guess part of the reason why I haven't uh, really looked at the new ships yet is I, I wanted to wait like a week, because then all the fervor will settle down, and people will start to have some good fits that they've figured out, which I can just copy. And... Uh, the price of the holes will be much lower. So, 
Not that I couldn't afford any of them, it's just, you know, I guess just a matter of principle and being cheap. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. This new launcher is weird. It's downloading the same patch over and over and over again. You know, I thought it was too, and then it finished. That's the sixth or seventh time that it's downloading version 9888834. Uh, it's hmm. weird. You know, here's my recommendation with the problem you're having. Go take a nap. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're building your own, Calcron. Oh, that's cool. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's see if I can make it back in one piece. Well, I have to say, so far, I'm enjoying the Moose Army Corp. Even though I haven't hung out with them a whole bunch or whatnot, they've all been very helpful. And, um, <clears throat> and, and, uh, yeah, so anyway. You know, a lot of you ask if whether or not you can join me for going out and doing stuff and everything. And uh, I know Moose Army is recruiting. You can apply and uh, come out and join us. I know. would shoot him a message. Yeah. Um, so it uh, it seems pretty good. The, the area of space, just in what I've seen so far and what I know about the area, is not bad. It's a kind of a quiet area that they're in. It, it there is a main thoroughfare here, but um, but it but it seems that. It doesn't get a whole lot of traffic. Uh, um, it's right next to a bridge between two regions. And I really like that it's close to Stain. I don't know what it is about Stain that I like so much. Maybe it's the extra risk, the extra lawlessness, or whatnot. But I, I really have this thing about Stain that I really like. And uh, so... Um, and since I have another home in Stain, it's all the way at the other side of Stain, too. Um, it kind of works out. Now I can do all this stuff, all this buying in Stain, and then I can just ship stuff up to, to Moose Army area or ship it over to uh, my other area. So... And I like the low security in the system. It's pretty low. It's point uh, zero seven or point seven, which um, only takes just a little bit of work in pumping the indexes, and then you have the full gamut of everything uh, spawning. And so, you know, we'll have the hardest uh, sites. We'll have the richest ore and um, and stuff. So. It's, it's actually very, very nice. And there is some actually even deeper uh, space nearby. There is some uh, negative point 0.9. It's like two jumps away. So, okay. Got this. Make our Sino here. Get that. I gotta fleet these guys together. If you guys have never seen a Sino before, you're about to see one. I'm gonna jump this carrier. And uh, the Sino effects are brand new. I actually have not fired off a Sino since uh, the new Sino effects. So, um, 
And uh, so, let's see here. So I know I'll be able to make this one jump. It's only two systems. I don't have to like go measure it or nothing. Uh, new Sino effects came in on the last patch. So I'm gonna make a I'm turning on my stuff here where I can see this and let's see here that's good enough come on did I hit stop I did hit stop so I'm gonna make a bookmark here so that I can go to the same spot every time and I'm gonna measure it out so um, I've got uh, got a couple of uh, so the when I jump the ship in it'll land anywhere within the five here from where I light the Sino and so um, it'll uh, do that now if I were closer into these uh, pillars then I'd stand the chance of uh, running into them when I Sino in and uh, when I jump in and if you do that it can cause your ship to fly at a pretty fast speed uh, in a direction that's unwanted and get outside of the docking ring where you can then be grabbed attacked and blown up so the last uh, thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I'm not too far down here and I'm gonna start maneuvering down here and I'm just gonna try and make sure that uh, I am still within docking range, even after I think I'm more than five away, which I'm more than five now, and I'm still in docking range and everything, so that's all good. All right. Be right back, I do a reset. Okay. So, okay, heading back up to that, and then And what we're going to do is we're going to light this Sino. System looks okay. And I've got I've got fuel in this. I didn't leave any other items here, did I? Oh yeah, there's a ton of items here. Okay, we got to pick those up. Okay, let's see. Fleet hangar. Okay. Including a Sino, okay. Okay, coast is still clear here. And we are in fleet together. Okay. Turn this off. Here's my little tiny ship. And pick. Okay, here we go. Lighten the Sino. Ooh, that sure is interesting looking. That new Sino effect. Ooh, I like all the little starbursts that come out of it. Okay. Okay, I'm undocking here. I don't even know what kind of station this is. Hmm. Okay, this has a large docking ring. And we're still good to go here. Stopping him. Jump two. And there we go. So I landed uh, here at the outer outer side. And uh Docking permission requested. Plenty of room. Docking request accepted. 
So there's a ton more stuff here. And we gotta let that, that cyano now stays lit for 10 minutes. And uh, I just can't do anything with that character for 10 minutes. If he gets killed, uh, so be it. And my jump timers. Um, I've got a 29 minute jump fatigue timer, uh, long term, and the short one is two minutes. So it'll be, it'll take me probably 20 minutes to get the other Sino up. So not a big deal. Okay, so here's all these other ships that are here. And uh, including what is that? A lot of Tech 2 ships. And, uh, so. Welcome to the Dragons. Put them into the ship maintenance bay. Cannot create cargo other than, okay. So we've got some other cargo in these. So the Guardian is running Lynx? Really? Okay. This should work now. Hey, there we go. Wow, it just barely fit. 917,000 cubic meters out of a million that I can put in. And then the item hanger here. Let's stack everything up. 386 worth. Uh, it's just a little bit of ammo and stuff, so. We'll put that into the uh, fleet hanger. Okay. So. There we go. Picked all that stuff up. So he's still got about six minutes on this. I don't have anything else here. Is there anything else for sale here? Hmm. Just look. Current station for two million, because I'm already here. No, I don't need no shuttles. 800 million. No, I don't need that either. 235 million. And a bad one. Nah. Another Naga for 74 million. I don't think that's a good price. Yeah, I guess it's an okay price, but I don't need another one, in all honesty. Okay, and that's all that's here. Gronk Warfang, thank you for uh, following. Welcome. Okay, now. I'm going to look up. Uh, let's look up the jump stuff. Jump range. Okay, so Minor Archon JDC five. Okay. 
I might be able to make this in one jump, but I don't know. We'll see. It'd be really cool if I can make this in one jump. And a jump freighter, I'm sure I could, but we'll see. No, nah, gotta do two. Okay. So, G Jash, M E K 2, and who owns that? Oh, it's another public station. Really, I didn't know that uh, Stain went up that far. Okay. Well, then. So this is uh, dot .lan. If you guys have never used it, uh, it's what I'm using to figure out my jumping here. And uh, it's uh, it's an important part of of you know figuring out how you're gonna fly to different places. So let's see if I have. I don't have anything at that station. There are two stations there. Okay. Then. Yeah, so it's only seven jumps. So after the Sino's out here, I'll be able to uh, fly up there. I'll create another uh, Sino package up there and uh, do it. Um, I see you guys uh, posting links here. Um, the, uh, there's that, uh, that DeGraver was posting. Also, exclamation point coupon. We'll get you coupon. It'll save you a few bucks. There's also another version in there, which, um, I don't know if you guys have seen, but it's the second decade version. And instead of 20 bucks for a new account with 30 days, it is 60 days of prepaid time for 25 bucks. So another five bucks more, you get an extra um, an extra month of subscription time. Um, so anyway, and then you can use your discount coupon on those. And uh, so, and by the way, um, I, I can't give you all the details today, but if you typically, if you buy Plex from us and you've been eyeballing those skins that, um, that CCP has, um, I think we're going to have them on Tuesday. So, um, you know, hold on to your, uh, hold on to your dollars, spend them with us. I would appreciate it. Um, but you're going to be able to get uh, some of that stuff through us. And I'll, um, I'll go over all that stuff tonight. And then, um, and then maybe, um, Alex, are you still watching? Maybe, maybe we can get a, uh, a uh, news post up with all the details or something like that. Or maybe we can put the items in the store tomorrow and just have them as uh, coming soon. So... Um, it's a little bit cheaper getting Plex from us anyway, yes. So, um, anyway, some of those packages that have some of those skins and stuff, we're going to have those, and I'm looking forward to that. So. Okay. I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to take this. Skins apply to the Orem purchases too. You know, I'm going to have to look at that stuff. 
the, the email was too long for me to read at, at a glance with um, while we were doing the show. So um, I will in Discord tonight kind of just uh, post the kind of the details, the the rough outline, and uh, then tomorrow I'll know I'll know the full details. I just don't know if we'll have them written up and on display someplace, but I think we'll we'll figure that out. So. Alex does the news pages. She's working tomorrow. She's not working today. So when she was here, she was just hanging out. And uh, um, I think we can get something in writing so you guys can see. And uh, we certainly appreciate your business. So, um, and you know, I, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm very thankful for your guys' business. So I love what I do here. And if none of you ever came and bought anything from us, I don't think that uh, I would have this as a living. So I'd be out driving a bus or a truck. Well, I'd probably be doing something else. I mean, I have experience being CEO of companies and stuff, but so um, DEF CON, catch you later. Thank you for uh, being here today. Um, so anyway, it is very much appreciated. Okay. Let me head over to this other station. His cooldown. It doesn't matter what kind of cooldown. We're not doing enough jumps to really affect it. Hopefully there's some stuff at this other system that I'm jumping to. Where am I jumping to? G-ME. Does he have anything there? Nope. Well, I guess I'll check the station there, though, when we're there. Oh, it looks like we got a raid. The more people we have in on a raid, the, uh, the deeper the dungeon we can go to, the more risk we have, and the more we can possibly win. I'll go all in. It's exclamation point raid space one to get in on it. Um, it'll give you a remainder of gold, though, if you win. So you might want to do two. So I have 4296. All in. I always do one less than what it says I have, and that's because it rounds up and down sometimes, and uh, then it doesn't work right, and you don't get your entry in, and you're going, why was I not in when everybody else walked away with mega gold? So the likelihood is we're all going to die, but... Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll, um, um, you know, we'll see. Okay. Um, oh, God, we're in the powerful dragon dungeon. If we get a bigger group, we'll hit the elder dragon dungeon. Beyond the elder dragon dungeon is Marky Dragon's dungeon. <laughs> We've never hit that before. Ever. Then your office would be crowded, I guess. Right. All these people here <laughs> going, raid! <laughs> yeah. So it's about to close. Better all get in. You got to be quick. It only lasts about a minute to let everybody in. So. Okay. Wow, we got a lot of big numbers going in here. Okay, here we go into the powerful dragon dungeon. Oh, we had a couple of big ones miss. Yes, I throw Dr. Peppers at everybody. My dragon does in the dragon dungeon, yeah. Okay, we'll see here what it says. Whoa, we took out 40,000 gold. Um, Jay-Z Guru doubled to 10,000 gold. Oh. I died. I died. Did you? Yeah. Um, Mr. Crackerhead walking away with 10,000. Okay. Well, there we have it. Some of us died. Oh, Brain Manager walking away with 10,000 as well. Wow. Okay. 
Uh, sorry for everybody that died. I died too. <laughs> oh my. Well, those are fun. Yeah, welcome dragon get pretty salty. You start claiming things are rigged. I hope the update is now working. <laughs> yes, we were meat shields. As usual. <laughs> yeah. No, the the more people we get in, the the higher the payouts, but also the bigger the risk. So. What's really funny is when there's only one survivor and there was a whole bunch in there. Yeah, or, or when there's no survivors. There's some funny messages when there's one survivor and, and no survivors. So. Old luck. That sounds really creepy. Warp drive active. I missed a couple people. Wife Agro Gaming and uh, Chattelac Spills. Docking permission requested. And uh, Chromagash the Impaler. Docking request accepted. Uh, thank you for following. Sorry I missed you guys earlier. It looks like it was during all those donations. I was a little bit blinded with the generosity going on there. So. Uh, British Waldo, at least you will earn more gold. Okay. Now. Let's see here. Can I buy some Sinos? Uh, there's some in system. Oh, you know what? I want to take a look at this station. I do not know what this station looks like that I'm in. Yes, you can enter the giveaway right now. Exclamation point, ticket space one. We'll get you in on it. Oh, this is a major kickout station. Okay, let's go look at the other station. I mean, I'll, I, I, it's a neat station, but it's not very good for landing uh, or for uh, exiting. You can land at it pretty good with the Sino, but it's not very good for uh, exiting because it kicks you out and you're, you're outside of docking range. Oh, this one's a good one. So this one also kind of kicks out, but it's got a, a funky docking shape to it. Requested. Docking request accepted. Okay, so, wait, let's see, let's view market details. yippee ki motherfucker. You, sir, rock. I'll send some extra bitches your way. Of course, that's after I'm done with them. <laughs> Dude. Um, uh, Mr. Neggle. 50 bucks again. He wants gold all around. Great raid, lads. Tally ho. Gold all around. Well, thank you very much for another donation. Another 50 bucks. Dude, you are too generous. Too generous. Have you been drinking tonight? 
Hmm. Yes. Will you regret this in the morning? 50 gold to everybody. Thanks to Mr. Nagel. You all have money for the next raid now. <laughs> yep. Too generous. I don't know. Break out the whiskey. I'm working. I'm working till it's two o'clock in the afternoon, and I am working until ten o'clock tonight. So I don't know. I probably shouldn't break out the whiskey. Um, no, you won't regret this at all. Well, good. Let's see here. I need to give this guy some more money. He is. Uh, Spent almost all her money on. Welcome to the Sino Dragons. equipment. Ozone. Okay. So, Ryuga, thank you for uh, following. Welcome. I give it up with the update. Not gonna work for you today? Nah. It's just downloading it again over and over and over. Is there anything on their site about this issue? Nah, I'm searching the entire time, but I don't see anything like that. Uh, I guess maybe I'd put in a ticket. Nah. I'd love to support. <laughs> <laughs> I will oh. write one tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, Calcron, uh, he did uh, do the repair tool, I think, as well. And the suggestions come flooding in. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. What's the best faction for ISK in faction warfare? Wife Agro, Minmatar right now. Secondary is Galante. Uh, they're both on the same side as well. So um, uh, go with Minmatar. They're tier four as of yesterday which pays really well. And uh, Galante was tier three. And if they should happen to reverse, it uh, takes you only one day to switch between Mimitar and Galante. And you can switch and your standings are still good and everything. So, um, yep, that's where I would go. And to really, if you're, if you're really looking to make money, you sign up as Minmatar, and you go to Galante Space, and you work the Galante Space. So look on my uh, YouTube channel uh, for Faction Warfare stuff, because I have videos about how to do that, and then I also have videos about how to cash out to make the most money. So... 
Okay. So, okay, now I got this ship. Okay, before I go refitting it or anything, let's see here. I'm going to set my home station here because it's very likely I'll die. There's two people in here who kill Sinos. Um, okay, tickets up in a minute. <laughs> well, good. I look forward to playing with you. Mm hmm. I mean, I can play. I don't. I just don't update the game itself. But have you have you um, have you ever lived in a wormhole? Uh, no. Because really? I, I I'm I joined Moose's Corp with some of my characters. Welcome to the But dragons. then I also put Marky Dragon and one other character in a wormhole PvP corp. And uh, I'm going to start doing some of that next week. So we'll have probably at least a couple of days next week where we'll uh, spend a good portion of time in wormholes. So I'm working on figuring that out. And they use, they use applications and everything to map the active, uh, the active links in the wormholes and everything so that they know how to like get their, um, you know, they buy a battleship and they need to fly it in. And they know how to do that. They know which route to take to fly through everything to get it in there. So it's really quite interesting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, yeah, and they use, uh, you know, bookmarks. They say bookmarks are life in there. And um, I may add a third character to the corp because I might need a scout to watch wormholes while I'm... Uh, doing this but I've got two and they recommend that your characters can fly a Stratios um, so they do Stratios fleets and stuff which I, I think is gonna be a lot of fun so what are the applications called I think yeah eVippy yeah oh Dust Rider you're in the the hogs wormhole corp well then we are Alliance members because I joined um, the merchant guys in there who are not merchants they unless they're just you know harvesting money from the items that uh, they're looting off of everybody so so I'll be uh, yeah I'll be using these um, applications I'm gonna be setting them up over the weekend and then I hope that Monday, uh, I'll be able to get in there and, and uh, navigate around. And there'll be some stuff I won't be able to show you in there. But what I'll do is if these applications are really um, helpful, then I'll map out something else that's not you know, going to give away any operational security and, uh, and show you guys how these things work. So... Uh, and the, the corp is recruiting and everything. And so once I get in, I can introduce you to the guys to the corp and stuff. And if anybody's wanting to join, um, then, uh, you know, we'll can have a good time together. So uh, it's recommended, though, you can fly a Stratios. Okay. So now, let's see here. I need my jump guide. Let's see here. I have so much things up and running. I suppose I can uh, close a lot of this stuff, huh? Oh, these are the skins that we're going to have next week. Right here. So we are going to have this Barghess skin and stuff. Um, and it's going to be for just a limited time only. That Barghess skin, uh, what really sucks is you have to buy a 28 plex pack to, uh, to get it. 
Um, so we'll see. That's the one I really want. I can't afford to buy a 28 plex. Not even it. Not even it. Uh, you know the the radar company gets it. So I just I just can't afford it. I'm, I'll end up buying one of those off the market or something. Okay. Oh yes, and here's the second decade boxes. The stuff that we're shipping. We're shipping R Rifter models. <laughs> It's uh, exclamation point SD in Twitch chat. Um, I will sell you a hundred rifters, all daisy chained together where they all light up and you can, uh, you know, 900 bucks. Free shipping though. Uh, yeah. Uh, you could uh, decorate a 15 foot tall Christmas tree with that. Okay. Oh, and here is a picture that somebody submitted as proof that uh, plexes are spawning in, um, in the, uh, sites. So, Capaticus, hello. Do I own a pause? No, uh, there are, there are pauses that are corp owned in there. Okay, so let me see here. Guide to placing Sinos. Let's see which one this is. One of these guides is better than the other. Let's see if I can find the station on here. One of these is really old and it doesn't have all the station types. Here it is. Really? All the way out there? The undock range is 40 kilometers? Holy cow, I didn't realize no way that's that's amazing yeah so uh, the frost line sites somebody put up a screenshot here of this is a screenshot of a uh, Plex that was loot in there. So, um, I, I, I would assume that they're very, very rare, very rare, and that most of us will not, will not hit one of these. But there's also ship skins, and uh, the ship skins are something that I want. Um, so, Anyway, all right, let me, uh, I'm going to go out and make this Sino spot, and then I'm going to come back in and equip up. All right, with the unknowns in here, I'm wondering if I'm going to die, you know. Okay, so this is actually just a really great spot, even right here. I mean, that's just a beautiful spot. And it's really close in. Out there, I don't know, maybe you could get bumped. You get a Titan drive-by. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever heard of any spawning Plex in the game, too, by the way. I don't think they've ever done that before. Um, you know, I, I, I might not be right on that, but, but I've never heard of it before. And, uh, you know, I've been dealing with Plex for a long time, so. Yeah, the docking ring on this is just absolutely enormous. So what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that this bubble does not interact with, does not cross anything on the, on here. And, uh, 
So that's a, that's basically a, a 5k bubble. So, and it's not touching anything. So that's uh that's just about a perfect cyano. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. You think it's photoshopped? Well, you know what? Even if it's photoshopped, um, I have I I I think you know somebody can post where CCP has stated that it's true. So um, even if they photoshopped that, CCP has stated that it's true. So I'll just go with what CCP says. You know how much more proof do you need than that? Does anyone have the link again? I want to take a look at it again. Yeah, does anybody anybody have a link to where uh, where it's been confirmed by CCP? And also to the picture. You got a plex on your first try. So there's there's the picture. If a mod wants to repost that. No, that's a. Uh... It's a different picture, but it's funny. I like the picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm always worried those things are gonna like infect me. Ugh. Pfft. Hey, there's uh the, there's I kid you not, there was a one that I clicked on that I thought was an image and it gave me malware. Okay. And I was... momento, pizza. Pizza? Did he just said pizza? Yeah, okay, so Nick Paw, yes. You could just put the plex in there and then it says look like a drop. Here. Let's see. Nope, it is not in here. It is not in this article from them. Um, it is not in this article that that there's that there. It talks a lot about Plex in here. It doesn't talk about any Plex's loot. So, um, And Plex have filtered back to returning capsules. What? Okay. So let's see here. And I'm back. And I agree, yeah, with gift pictures and so on. Right, here it is. No, where? Reports of implants, blueprints, skins, and plex have filtered back uh, from returning capsuleers. Serpentis engineers are working around the clock to bring back, bring security back online. So time is of the essence. Get rating. I, I would say this is confirmation. Updates.evonline.com. So, yeah, and then it does, and then this is the other one. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. So, anyway, that's confirmation enough. Confirmed. Yep. Yep. Did you guys see how I did that? Uh, how I how I searched for that? I searched for that by 
taking a part of the sentence that was posted in there, putting it in quotes, and then it had to find that exact sentence with those exact spaces, everything. So, hmm. um, just a little trick with Google. So it requires, when you put it in quotes, it requires that that must be present to show a result. So you can put a whole sentence in that way and then you can find the rest of it. Okay. Let's see here. I did not find a Plex, but we did verify that you can find them. So that, that's what we were trying to, uh, to do here was to, to verify that. No, the best I the best I found was a 30 day ship skin so far, but I've been looking. such a crazy station how far out you can be amazing docking ring docking permission requested docking request accepted okay so nothing here let me uh, see if there's anything for sale here Current station, 4.3 billion. Something good here. What is this? It's a Moros. I don't even know if I can fly a Moros. Galante, I don't think so. So we're waiting for the Sino to time out now. And so, see if there's anything else I should pick up. It's worth 3.1 billion and they want 4.3? No, thank you. Maybe if somebody's in a hurry. 1.29 billion worth on Eve Prazel. What is this? Neo YC114 tournament cards. Special edition assets. I've not heard of those before. They're probably not worth anything, but. Worth 1.04 billion. Right. These are worth, uh, yeah, people are buying them for 100,000. Yeah. Something like that. Somebody played for quite a while with all this stuff in here. Maelstrom. Not enough profit. And there's nothing there that I need. Okay, current station. A slasher. These are one jump away. An Armageddon fitted. Hmm. Yeah, I think I looked at these already. Woohoo! Progress. Okay. Wow. 
Am I going to die here to this flycatcher? No. I have somebody here keeping an eye on me, though. Nope, he was just docking. No ship in that one. 1.5 billion Samira. Hmm. Triage fit. Well, you know what I need? I need fuel. How's my fuel here? It's getting low. Uh, do I have enough for one more jump? Shit. Let's see here. View market. There's none around here. Okay, that's 6906. How much did it say it was gonna take for the jump? Welcome to the dragons. Forty-one hundred. Okay. I won't be able to jump anywhere else after that. I'm gonna have to bring some fuel in. Oh, you like my scroll wheel sound? Mm. Or not? Yeah, it's about halfway through. Cruise missiles, standard, Molinar. Oh, we have some at the station, and they happen to be the cheapest. Nice. Let's buy all these. So we eat. Okay. I was going to need some of those. And then faction. Nope. Advanced precision. Nope. High damage. Nope. Then around. I'm going to have to bring in a lot of stuff. Let's see, heavy missiles, standard, Ooh, they're the most expensive here, faction, none here, high precision, none here, and high damage, none here, okay. What kind of mouse do I got? Um, I don't know. Logitech G700S seems to be okay. It's a cordless mouse, but uh, I've ended up having to leave it plugged in the whole time because I run out of power before uh, the end of the show sometimes. Just, uh, but that's because I have it on the highest scan resolution possible. So, so I end up just leaving it plugged in all the time now, and I had, I replaced the cord. The cord was very stiff, and so I replaced it with actually a cell phone cord. Issue resolved. Oh, you got in? You got it working? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, at least the launcher patch was updated. Yeah. And so, oh, yeah. Uh, was it from putting in the ticket? Did they tell you something, or did it just no. finally work? I just yeah, I just wrote the ticket, tried it again, and all of a sudden it's working. Right. It's one of those magic things. You complain about yeah. it, and it starts working. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have yeah. that quite often. I have that quite often. Yeah. Believe it or not. But it's re-downloading my client as well now. That's weird as hell. Okay, well, one more jump. And this is almost ready. Okay, another little trick here. I uh, set destination to this station I've got right here. Set destination, then I hit autopilot. Autopilot engaged. And either when the Sino is out, or if I get blown up, he'll dock. 
and it, the flip side every 30 seconds they say docking permission requested but then I have that client set to be quiet whenever it's not in focus and she won't talk to us so oh but I hear somebody jumping in right next to me are they here to kill me Nope. Docking permission requested. Okay. Ah, Barbald. Yeah, maybe you told me about that. I don't I don't honestly remember where I learned it, but yeah. Okay, right, I'm gonna step away for just a minute while we're waiting for that to dock, and uh, so I'll be right back. Welcome to the Dragons. Okay, I'm back. Oh, Compoticus, uh, thank you for following, and Bilbo, and Tivoli. Um, so I talked to Lisa out there. Lisa will be on the show tomorrow. Well, hopefully. Uh, she broke her headset, or the kids broke her headset for her. <laughs> and, uh, okay, we're docked. And so I told her about the donations uh, from uh, uh, Mr. Niggle. And she says, oh, I give myself a new headset. So maybe she'll go out and buy one tonight. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I have to work till 10 o'clock tonight. So it's no, I can't go out with her, do that. But, uh, oh, wow. Yeah. 12 hour shift or what? Um, let's see. I started at about 630 this morning and I'll work till 10. So whatever that. Um, it's just Alex and I work in the store right now. And so to make sure that we have days off, we work some monster days. And there's uh, one day where we have a split. Um, but, um, um, and she'll sometimes, uh, she's in a different time zone than I am. So she'll sometimes be watching the store after I've gone to bed. 
she sees orders come in or whatever. Hmm. And uh, and then I I'm always opening the store every morning early, so even when she's working, she's not up yet. So so we get really good coverage, but um, you know. Yeah, the headset was broken a couple of weeks ago. Uh, your Olympic hero, I honestly haven't had money. So uh, we had a little bit of money and um, we spent it on a few presents for the kids. So, um, you know. So, and I don't get donations very often on the show. I mean, I do, you guys donate, but it's, it's usually a piece of pie a day. <laughs> it takes a it takes a little while to buy a you know hundred dollar headset off of a piece of pie every day, so okay. Let's see here. All right, so we made it here. Let me get into my other ship. Oh, I gotta leave this one. Okay. Let's see here. Or. Maybe I don't even need to leave this one. I just undock and I go to the other station. So. Yeah, we had um, Welcome to the Dragons. So one of my one of my kids works at Walmart. I hate Walmart. But uh, Walmart? He, he works there. Isn't and that such a giant stall? Yeah, it, it's the largest grocery store in the world. And um and, and I really don't like Walmart's philosophy on a lot of things and stuff. But um, anyway, uh, as an employee, for uh, when they got their Christmas bonuses, they also had two days where they could come in and they could shop and they could get 25% off of everything they purchased. So um, we got the kids some gifts and uh, did some grocery shopping. So save a few bucks. Mr. Nagel is asking you how much you need for a new headset. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. There's more than enough there. Let me let me tell you about... This is funny. So I used to drive limousines quite a long time ago. It's been quite a long time since I drove limousines. But I used to drive limousines, and um, I had this um, Prince from Saudi Arabia that I was driving, and um, that may sound all impressive. There's actually a lot of Princes from Saudi Arabia, so it's not as impressive as you... As you may think, uh, but anyway, he was he he was royalty or whatever, um, which I'm sure you'd be very offended by me saying that <laughs> um, in in that way. Um, but he um, he went to uh, I drove him around for 13 hours and I walked away with $1,300 in tips. And so, but uh, there was, he asked me to go in and buy two bottles of the most expensive bottles of scotch uh, in the Hilton Hotel in the, in the city we were in. And so we went, uh, uh, I, you know, they were shopping at Saks Fifth Avenue or whatnot. And uh, so I went over to Hilton and, and got that. And it was the two most expensive bottles, and he had already given me probably six or seven hundred dollars in tips at that point. And he handed me, I think, um, five hundred dollars for the bottles of scotch. And so, you know, I'm going to go buy two bottles of scotch. And I walk into the bar, and here I am in my, you know, uniform and stuff, which is, you know, very formal looking and everything. And I, I'm like, I'd like your two most expensive bottles of scotch. And he puts out these two bottles of scotch and and then rings it up and he says that'll be like six hundred and fourteen dollars or something like that. I'm like, okay. I figured, you know, he's giving me all this money in tips, and he wanted uh, me to get him two bottles of scotch. It's a little bit more than what he gave me, but so what? You know, he's already been really generous. And I, so I whip out the money and I, I give it to him, and then when I see my uh, client. And everything I go to hand him the two bottles of scotch and he says oh no wait 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 one of them is for you I'm like oh okay <laughs> so you know I have this uh, 300 and some odd dollar bottle of scotch that he's just given me and then he says uh, was that enough money that I gave you and I said it was pretty close I covered the rest and he's like oh how much more was it and I'm like oh, it was like you know 614 or whatnot he hands me $200 more so anyway 
Um, yeah, I, I got bank on that and I um, got uh, a really expensive bottle of scotch. So, which was cool. I kept that bottle of scotch for probably another 10 years before I opened it. Now, why the hell is it, is it, is this really the optimal method to get there? I mean, look at how close I am to my destination. I am just a little bit far away, but apparently I have to go all the way back down into Stain, up into Dumbfuck, Egypt, and then over to Saudi Arabia, and then, and then over to my home station. <laughs> That's crazy. I was wondering why it was taking 20 jumps. It seriously is 20 jumps. Yeah, I see it. It's, it's, it's a bit weird. <laughs> Let me make sure I don't have, um, uh, let's see, prefer shorter. Okay. And I don't have any avoid list. So, uh, scotch, the older it is, um, the better. And that was like 20 year old scotch or 25 year old scotch, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't recall now, but I kept it like another 10 years before uh, before I finally opened it. And then you know what? It disappeared. I had only had a couple of glasses of it, and um, and I don't know what happened to it. It just disappeared. Um, probably one of my teenage kids. <laughs> yeah. Mm, delicious. <laughs> yeah. I take it. <laughs> I know. God, you can't. This doesn't even burn when you drink it. Yeah. Smooth stuff. So yeah, the higher the price is, uh, the higher the quality is. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, for my whiskey, I really like Maker's Mark. And um, if you if you drink something like uh, Jim Bean or Jack Daniels or something yeah. like that, yeah. um, you know that shit burns when you drink it, and it, it's just got a really sharp taste. And um, uh, sure, you can probably get just as drunk off of it, but um, yeah, Maker's Mark. Same is 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 a lot nicer it does cost like more than twice as much but um it doesn't break the bank so this uh person who's asking what ship this is this is a claw and uh it is a interceptor the reason for flying it null is that it can fly through the warp bubbles it can, it can fly through the the bubbles so which is important out here Scotch becomes better if stored at proper temperature and in a proper wood casket. I did not store mine at proper temp temperature, I can tell you that. It sat in the kitchen on top of the old refrigerator. We had a house that was 100 years old, and the refrigerator that was built into the wall was wooden. And um, it had uh, vents that went to the outside, so if it was cold outside, you would open up those vents. And uh, when it was warmer outside, you'd close the vent and you'd put a block of ice in the bottom of it. And uh, that would uh, keep things cooler. Back when they would deliver ice to your house. So. Yeah, I also put my whiskey in the freezer. So, uh, Fireball is especially good when it's uh, below freezing, um, but so is Maker's. Also, if I pour some in my Dr. Pepper can, <laughs> which people are like going, oh my God, that's a sin, but uh, I actually do enjoy a shot of Maker's in my Dr. Pepper can occasionally. And if it is um, below freezing, then uh, it mixes real nicely. If it's uh, room temperature, it sits on top and it's hard to stir. Uh, a can pop, so. Warp drive active. Mr. Neggle sounds like he uh, knows a little bit about uh, alcohol. Man, this is this is such a lot of jumps. I'm kind of surprised. I'm surprised at this loop-de-loop -loop up here. Drive 
first ice machine was the size of a small shed. Yeah. You know, in uh, Sisters, Oregon, there's a cave at uh, uh, one of the there's three volcanoes there, and uh, they're called the Sisters. And uh, one of them has a year-round ice cave in it. And uh, so they would uh, they would haul water up into it and then let it freeze and then haul it back out. So... Oh, ten more jumps to go. I didn't realize it was going to be so far. How hot does it get in my office with all this equipment? Well, I can tell you that it gets to be about... It goes over 80 if I don't have the AC on. I have the AC on set at 74. The rest of the house is at 74, and I'm at 77.7. .7. So, if I owned this house, I would have an additional air intake put into here to pull air through uh, at a faster rate. And um, I've discussed putting a AC unit in the window. The problem is they're so freaking noisy and that just won't work. So, so. More jumps. Oh. 
How fun is this game? Hmm. Uh, well, welcome to the sh live show, Warnub. Um, I'm not sure how to answer how fun this game is. Why do I play this game? Because I enjoy an insane challenge. <laughs> That's probably it. Um, yeah, Mr. BBS says extremely fun, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, the it's it's very, very hard, right, when you first get into it. But once you start to understand some things, get with a good uh, corp and stuff, get other people to play with, um, you'll find yourself wanting to spend all kinds of time in here. And I, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure that fun is always the right word. Because sometimes I spend a few hours setting things up so that I can have fun. Um, you know, in, in this traveling from gate to gate to gate right now, like I'm doing, moving this stuff. I mean, would I say that that um, do, setting all this stuff up is fun? No, but I'll have all this stuff set up for the next time I make this trip through. And uh, so, uh, Adrian, hello. Um, so, you know, there's, there's, there is definitely a big attraction to the game. What's the end game for Eve? Mr. Niggle asks. Um, yeah, well, I used to put in my profile that I beat Eve in 14 days or something like that. And everybody's looking at me like, you are freaking crazy. Because there is no end. So, you know, what's the end to life? Uh, what's the point of life? Mr. Nigel wants to know, what's the point? Okay, what's the point of living? It's existence, it's to do things, it's to have fun, maybe it's even to procreate, but uh, there's not much of that going on in the game. Well, unless you create a new character, but, you know, that's a whole other story. They're made significantly different from in real life. <laughs> uh, and so... Um, you know, there's politics, there's power, there's war, there's PvP, there's so many different things. Um, real life entrepreneurs are very attracted to the game because there's a lot of entrepreneurial aspects to this game. The economy is very, very real in the game. And with a real economy, you can, uh, you can really have, uh, uh, if you really like buying, selling, trading, manufacturing, all of those, that kind of stuff, then it's, um, you know, you would really like it. Uh, a lot of our customers who spend a lot of money in the game, spend a lot of money on Plex and stuff like that, um, you know, if you exceed certain dollar amounts in a short period of time or whatever, we may give you a call. And that's one of our, you know, anti-fraud things. And, and But really, we touch base with customers and we get to know them a little bit better. And, um, you know, there are CEO of corporations that play this. There are lots of lawyers uh, that play this. It tends not to be medical professionals. A lot of them are very interested in it, but a lot of them don't have time. And um, there is uh, engineers and stuff. Um, and you know i uh one guy so one guy um owned car dealerships like several car dealerships and so he was just a problem solver so he'd sit at his desk all day and you know somebody would need uh, help with something and he would you know give them an answer on what to do he was like a decision maker and while he's sitting there playing eve another guy uh sitting in the strip club um, you know, in the back corner or whatever, and he's um, just, uh, he, he owns the strip club, and he's just sitting watching the girls dancing while playing Eve, you know? Um, and it's kind of funny because a lot of them spend a lot of time at work playing, but that's, you know, people are attracted to it. Oh, we got another dungeon run. Okay, everybody in. Exclamation point, raid, space, at least one. I'd suggest doing at least 10 so you can get some sort of payout. 
I'm going to go all in. So exclamation point raid space and then the number do one less than whatever it shows you you have if you do the gold command. Um, that way you'll make sure you get in because if there's a remainder and it rounds up, then you won't get in. So see how much gold I've got. The more people we have in, the, um, let's see here. How much do I have? 55. What? You watched yourself 11,864 hours? <laughs> well, I'm always in the channel, you know? Um, that's how long I've been running the bot. <laughs> um, so, the more people we get in, the, big, the deeper the dungeon we can get into, it doesn't matter how much gold you put in, what matters is that you get in. And so the more people we have, the more dangerous it is, the more likelihood it is we're all going to die. But if we make it out alive, we make way more gold. So get in on it. And you can't do any remainders. You can't do point whatever. My crackerhead's going in with 10,000. Damn. You can work on doubling up there. So, and I think we're in Powerful Dragon. I don't know. We'll see if we can get into... Welcome to the dragons. Into and, it, and it's gone in a minute. So if you don't know how much you got, just exclamation point raid space 10. Something like that. Just so you get in. Okay. Ah, we're going into the powerful dragon dungeon. Okay. Yeah, it only lasts around a minute. For getting everybody in, so you got to be really on the ball. I wish I could increase that to about a minute and a half, but there's no setting for it. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens here. We'll see if we all die. So twenty thousand coming out. I died again. I died again. Uh, let's see here. There was no really big... The really big guys that went in all lost their gold. <laughs> and now we won. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nakuessa got... It came out with 5,000. Um, Senator Bigsby came out with 2,000. Irie Bumps, 1,000. And Cajun Master Jedi, 1,442. He was big, is he the biggest haul out of there? No, uh, one other person was bigger. But there we go. Yep. I died again. Story of my life. Okay, let's see what we can get here on the market. What? No Sinos for sale here. Wow. I should bring some down and sell them cheap. Okay. How about Ozone? No Ozone for sale here? Oh, man. This is our home station, folks. Miners, get to work. Oh, liquid ozone. does liquid ozone come from mining? No. Is it, or is it planetary interaction? Shit, I don't remember. Okay, well, let's see here. Is there any one jump away? There is 46 at the station next door. 48. That's not enough to do anything. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. This is one jump away. Can I actually dock here? Yes. Okay. Hey, well, I'll have to fly over there and haul some back.
Some things are not allowed to be sold at stations. Like, what? I've never heard of such a thing. Um, okay. So, some things... Hey, well, um, yeah, it would be interesting if you're not allowed to sell Sinos or, uh, or, um, Welcome to the Dragons. Welcome to the Dragons. So, Funk Agenda and Biffin, thank you for following. Welcome. Only heard of that in renter stations? Hmm. That would be very interesting if we're not allowed to put some up. Oh, I'll find out. I mean, uh, we're... Talking. I don't know what our status is. I just know this is where we're living right now. I think that our alliance is a renter converting to Sov. But I don't 100% know these things. I mean, I, I just I just know what I've heard. I, I don't know stuff for 100% sure. Okay, so... And I guess maybe that would be part of the conditions of it, but um, it's interesting. So I'd find that very disadvantageous to renting. Uh, I mean, the stations can provide you a lot of other stuff, but also you need to be able to provide to your people the stuff they need. Apparently, I already have a Sino here. Hmm. Wait, that's not going to fit. Let's go take this out. I've been here before. need to make a uh, this kind of station a little bit tricky on making a uh, bookmark I mean it's not horrible but it, it, um, it always feels a little odd to me because I I worry the, the the margin of error is a lot smaller than like the last station we were in Giveaway will be at the end of the show. And if uh, you're not here at the end of the show, that's okay. I'll send it to you anyway.
Docking permission requested. Docking <laughs> permission favor. accepted. Not true. All the time you see people coming in going, oh, I see I won last time. Okay, so now Takes a little bit to fly down there. You can get it within this undock radius right here, but I always worry about some other large ships coming out and then and then having uh, a uh, an issue with. Um, Uh, having an issue with bumping. If you sign in on top of another ship, one of them gets shot way the fuck out. So I always find it interesting when Black Frog does crap like right at the undock is their Sino. I'm like, do you realize that you can, you know, really mess yourself up that way? I mean, the chances are, of it are probably pretty low, and that's probably why they don't, you know, really worry about it or whatnot. But still, so I'm just making sure that that bookmark gets outside of that sphere, which it has. And I want a little extra room. Ooh, that's not quite enough. It's just too close. It's too close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to approach that again. It's just too close because there is a little bit of a, a margin of error. You know, it's supposed to be within 5K, but um, I don't know if you guys noticed on the last jump, it was 5,010 that it um, that it did. So, and this is, the margin there is really, it's almost zero. Uh, zero extra, so... I'm gonna make a second Sino spot here. That's just up just a little bit higher. is it going this way? I didn't tell him to go this way. I don't get it.
how do you link the the two? So we're in a fleet together, and I'm going to tell to jump to this character. So okay, now this is out here. We're going to go down this way again. And then we're going to make sure that, uh, so I'm watching, you can't see on my overview, but I've got, it says zero meters away from the station. And if it starts counting up before too much after it gets out of that uh, sphere, then uh, no, we're, we're good. Okay, we're good now. It's just, this is a tight one. It really is. So. Of course, starter pack, same thing we're giving away. Brand new account. Um, has uh, 30 days prepaid, has some mining equipment, has cerebral accelerator in it. Okay. I always check back while I'm stopping the ship. I always stop my ship when it's undocking. So your speed's going down. And then I use jump to or uh, if you have speed while you're when you jump, you can sometimes carry that speed through on the jump, and you'll still be moving. See, I bumped off the station here. Did I just bump off the station? Yeah, fuck, I did. Docking permission requested. I bumped off the fucking Docking station. Accepted. <sighs> you guys see that? Even with all that work, I didn't do it right. Yeah, well, I'm going to delete that. Uh, I'll delete that one. I bumped off the station. Not good. Let's see, how far away from the point am I? I mean, I'm just a little bit, but I really didn't think that I was... Wow. How did I bump off the station when I'm right there? They must have gone way outside the five. I mean, I certainly bumped off the station there. You guys saw it, right? But this is a good Sino. This looks good. This looks just fine. What's wrong with it? What did I bump off of? I docked up right away because um, I'd have gone out of docking range. And to tell that, tell that, okay, so that the, the carrier there is not fit for any kind of battle to defend itself. Same way that people bump off asteroids miles away. It was kind of crazy. Let's see what the document says. I still have that up. Do they have this station in here? It's a Minmatar. No, they don't have it. Okay. There's another one here. I have to watch the video to see what I bumped off of. Can I actually see it in the video? See on YouTube, you can go to a replay.
Hey, I'm looking at it. I'm watching it in full screen on this other monitor here. While I uh, see here if I can find the station. This one has a lot more stations in it. Doesn't seem to have this station listed in it. Maybe I had too much speed still while I was. Yeah, I can't even see what I bumped off of. The view doesn't show it. It does show that I'm flying at 1500. I bumped clearly off the station. I hit the station. Yeah, I hit the station. So, um, okay, well. A little bit surprised. Anyway, I'm going to delete that Sino spot. It's suspect now. I've had trouble at that this kind of station before. So, station info should tell you the station type. Yeah, but but it's not. I went through all the pictures of all of these, and I didn't. Um, there was no pictures of it. And this really, you can clearly see that I should not have bumped the station. That's the five spear, sphere. But she said, Trust me. These are the stories we so, but I, I bumped off up here. It's kind of the area. Hey, well, it is what it is. Um... So, yeah, I'm more than 5K away. I'm like 7K away. And if I go down any further, then I get out of the docking ring. So, hey. Autopilot engaged. Okay, so almost out of fuel, but I got everything here. Amazing. Okay, Bubba's have arrived. I don't think I can even get into this. Nah. It's a Viator. What is its fit? Oh my god, that's the worst thing you can do in a Viator. Put expanded cargo holds in it. This thing is not about hauling a lot. It is... Oh, and they got cargo hold optimization. person did not know what they're doing. This thing is about carrying, I mean, literally, you carry about 4,500 
uh, cubic meters in it, and that's about it. This right here pimps it out to about 13 and a half thousand, but you'll get caught. So, oh, grid size change. I wonder if the grid size change affects it. Hmm. That's a good question. Welcome to the dragons. That's a really good question. I have bounced off of one of those stations before though. Warnub, thank you for following, welcome. So, hey, let's, let's take a look at this. Is it all fitted up? It's a nice Claymore. We're providing some links. Partial links, okay. Skirmish Warfare, Rapid Deployment 1. Interdiction Maneuvers, okay. Artillery Cannons. These things, can't put them online. This must be an old fit, huh? Already have the maximum number of turrets online. So you shouldn't have even been able to put those in there, huh? Yeah, so this was fit long before that change. Had another couple of links here. That's Interdiction Maneuvers 1, and so is that. I've got really good links on um, my leadership here. So, I mean, I could totally um, pimp this out. They're all interdiction maneuvers. Oh, and that was rapid deployment one. So that's the same stuff that's there. That's gonna need a little bit of reconfiguring. But there it is. What is this ship? I don't even know. Oh, it's a Kestrel. Not fit. Okay. Okay, well that one requires, yeah, let's see, let's leave that ship and let's repackage that one is there anything in this view contents yeah it's got a fit on it actually looks like a full fit okay how about this can I get into this yeah I love these things they uh they're they're sexy looking. Armor repairers and capacitor transmitters. So this is this is designed to work in a group. This is just a shuttle. Yeah, there ain't nothing in there. Is there something in this hold here? Just a little bit of ammo in it. Why, why does it have ammo in it? It's either repair paste, but why does it have ammo in it? There's no guns. Okay, so I hope this is fully fit. The guns are all offline. <sighs> Apparently I don't have the skills for these guns. All that work to bring this ship up here and I don't have the skills for the guns. Hmm. I feel pretty special now. I have some other guns here, but uh, I don't think I can, if I can't do these, I can't do these other ones here. It's only, hmm. yeah, it's just these two artillery. 
These are these Nagas are kind of a odd breed. Well, let's see here. Yeah, I don't even have the large hybrid turret one. Yeah, see, I don't, I haven't trained hybrids on this character. Yeah, well, you know, it's just the way it goes, I guess. Um, so, man, all that work to bring this up here to find that. Isn't that awesome? Okay, well, so <laughs> Nicholas. Oh. There is actually a lot of storyline to Eve. Um, I don't know a whole bunch about it, but there are a lot of people that get into it. Yeah. So, I mean, I know some of the legend and lore, but I don't know. Uh... Okay, so. Now, to... That's a little frustrating. An interesting looking ship. It separates out and stuff when it starts shooting. Well, I guess I'm gonna hop in the Tengu. Okay, so I have a carrier up here. Let's let's see what's for sale around here. Actually, Dominic's rattlesnake, 14 jumps away. God, I like a scorpion better than a rattlesnake anyway. See if there's been anything new posted on the market here. Oxygen isotopes. Let's see, what kind do I take for the... Helium. Is there any helium for sale here? Hardly any. It's expensive too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to haul some stuff in. What did I plan to do with the Naga? Go out and shoot things. <laughs> I really just wanted to get a ship here and I saw that I had that one kind of close and so I went and bought a carrier and uh, brought it back here. So um, yeah, I did, I did want to shoot some stuff but didn't work out that way. Okay, so let me uh, get into I don't necessarily want to fly a command ship to go do these. It won't be very powerful anyway. It's already got, it's only can hold two, uh, two things in it. Okay, so we are what I'm thinking of doing is going and bringing back a fit for the Tengu so I can fly the Tengu out here. 
I'm just, uh, take this stuff with me. And there is plenty of... Plenty of sights out here. You know, even with a Tengu, can't do everything that's out here. I'd have a hard time in a Tengu doing this, I think. Is there to align to over here? So I have uh, I have everything I need for the uh, to switch this over in a mar. If I'm going to a mar, then I may as well get my um, I may as well get uh, the. Uh, my jump freighter and uh, build a couple ships out and bring them out. I'm not really finding anything for sale here. These guys are not attacking me at all. I'm kind of surprised. Am I not a threat? Yeah, now it's just the little guys. You're in the right fit, everything can do eat, can do everything out there. Yeah, maybe. Well, I gotta have I gotta have I mean okay, so I can tank it, but I don't have enough DPS on that. So and I got the wrong type of ammunition.
Tango can run Crisis 3. Hmm. Welcome to the Dragons. Ice Creature, thank you for following. Welcome. Okay, well, I think that uh, uh, it's going to take... I'm a lot of jumps away from... from uh, being able to do... Uh, Get all the way to Lamar and everything. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your dragons. Five dragons is a good start, but it's still no army. Uh, let's see here. I missed this. Uh, apparently I wasn't scrolled up all the way to the top. Spor Smors Sporsite and Dragon Knight, thank you for following. And then Digital Wolf, thank you for resubbing, buddy. I appreciate it. And... Uh, that was the fifth one today, in honor of your resub. 50 gold, everybody. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, we're going to uh, start to wrap things up here. So, exclamation point, ticket space one. And we can... Uh, that will get you in on the giveaway for a new account code for EVE. It's also going to include one of the uh, content packs. Let's see, Skirmisher. Industrialist, Explorer, or Colonist. One of those four. It'll be your choice. If you don't answer, you don't know, then I will choose for you. And I'm going to start writing it up here. Draw this in just a couple minutes. And then we'll be calling it a day. I had a lot of work to do. Show's been pretty good today, though. Enjoyed doing it. Warp drive active. Okay, has everybody got their tickets in? Hey, I'm closing it. Mr. Neggle, now, I know you subbed. That's funny. Mr. Neggle's the one who donated all the money today. <laughs> I know you subbed, but he didn't follow. Now, generally, that means I redraw, but I do know that he, he subbed, which kind of trumps following. <laughs> I'm going to give it to him anyway. So, Mr. Niggle, let's see. Ex let's see. Uh, colonist, Industrialist, Skirmisher, or Industrialist? Let's see. Colonist, Industrialist, Explorer, or Skirmisher? Which would you like? You have about a minute to let me know. And, uh, so yeah, he did, he did donate to the show today and everything, and subbed. He's probably passed out now from all the drinking. If that's not proof of rigging.
Yes, well, okay, I'm gonna choose one for him. Okay. And I'm going to choose industrialist. So, there we go. That is sent. Mr. Niggle, if you are uh, watching, there you go. Okay. How do you use a jump bridge? I don't even know. Use it like a gate. Okay, so I just hit D on it. Must have to be close to it, huh? Because it's not giving me the jump option. There we go. Yeah, I wasn't close enough. Okay. Is that what it said in Russian? Jumped ahead here. It's my first time using one of those. So I was just told I should use that on the side, so I did. Okay. Yes, this is a Tengu. So, and it's um, nullified. Well, you know what? Do we have any war decks? Yes, we do. I can't fly my shit. I can't fly a freighter, we have a war deck. So, I'll have to get another character to bring the stuff out. I can uh, do my jump freighter no problem, but um, I, can't, I can't be flying it in high sec. What do I mean by nullified? It's cloaky, I can cloak it like I've done here, and it... Um, can fly through bubbles, so that's how I have it configured. So, Corp Logistics, it can move it for me. Yeah, okay, well, I'll figure that out. I'll figure out what it all is I want to bring down. I, I mean, I have, I have two Jump Freighter characters in the Corp. 
So, um, you know, I would think that. I mean, I can I can do it. I just have to. It's just a little bit of setup. So, and where my uh, jump freighter is for this character, because this character is a jump freighter pilot as well, um, is um, twenty some jumps away from Amar. So, I just gotta go and we'll jump it over to. I don't know. Jump it over to head or something. Is our corp currently uh, recruiting any minor and industrial pilots? I don't know. Um, but we have several of them here in chat who could, uh, who could say. Uh, I'm just brand new to the court, so um, yeah. So Farrell is uh, one of the court members. Okay, well, I think we're at the end of the day, so. Okay. Looks like I have a lot of work to do tonight, too. As usual. All right, so I'm going to dock at the next station, and then we're going to call it good. So... Uh, Imperium. I'm not interested in joining Imperium. So, and I'm not looking for a safe place from PL. I just was looking for a new home. So, hell, that could have been PL. But I don't know anybody there really much. So, not good friends with any of them at least. So, okay. Well, that is going to call it. We're going to call it a day. Join us tomorrow. Farming Simulator. 2015 of server up we'll have uh, plenty of spots if anybody wants to come out and farm and uh, so we'll have, a, we'll have a good time so thank you for joining today thank you for the donations today thank you to all the subs and all you, everybody who followed and uh, so catch you all later